Good evening, y'all. How you doing? How you been? Oh boy. All right, I can tell that my, my mouth is acting up, but other than that, I'm feeling pretty good. And we're gonna be playing Mac Warrior 3 tonight, everybody. Oh, greetings, Sagan Mizu. So good to see ya. How you doing? How you been? I'm just gonna fix this on the fly while I say hi to everybody. Let's see here. We'll we'll make it way better. Yeah. Now now we're cooking with with fusion fire. I don't know. Welcome in everybody. How's it going? I'm Digi Doggy, your favorite dog-shaped robot corgi girl, and tonight we're gonna be playing Mech Warrior. I'm gonna be getting started in about five minutes here. We're gonna let everybody find their way to their seats and get all comfy and cozy. It's Thursday! What a concept! Thursday. We're almost through the week, everybody. Hope you've been having a good one. Okay, guys, I got a couple things to do on the back end here to make sure that this is... Well, this is gonna be a janky night. This game doesn't like being played anymore on modern hardware, but I'll make sure it's as smooth as I can make it. So I'll see you soon, everybody. goodness, I just realized that I messed up the stream information and it still says we're playing Half-Life, so I'm gonna fix that real quick. Hold hold your horses there, everybody. Oh man, that, that would explain some stuff, wouldn't it? Hmm. Well, I'll get it taken care of, don't you worry. See you soon, everybody.
Hey! Welcome in, everybody! How you doing? How you been? I'm DigiDoggy, your favorite dog-shaped robot corgi girl, and tonight we're playing MechWarrior 3! Oh, I'm excited about this one, you guys! This one is a pain in the butt to set up, so I'm really happy to say that I think... I think... I can't be sure about that. I cannot be sure about that, but I think I got it. Welcome in, Bill Sid the Science Kid. Hello, Troublesome Taffer. Good to see- Ah! Whoa! Straight from the Moai to the resub! Thank you for three months, Happy Dasaki! Oh, I, I'm super busted. Oh boy. Well, it's gonna be one of those nights, I see. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. Wow, okay, so we've determined that dancing brings me back from the dead. It moves my dead bones. Alright, sweet. Video feed online. Audio transmission online. Doggy online. All systems nominal. Hell yeah, Troublesome Taffer. Good to see you. Oh! Oh! I got birded up. Alright, well cool. So good to ha- Gosh darn it, I forgot to fix the head pats. We should probably do that before we get started, huh? Let's see if I can do it without it just going absolutely crazy. Oh boy. Alright, let's let's see here. Where even where even are you, headpats? Okay. Alright. Hmm. Last night this was whoa! Okay, this was giving me a lot of grief last night, and I decided to just put it off. And then I totally forgot it was a problem, so we're just gonna We're gonna we're gonna nip this in the bud right now. Yep, it's it's a digi doggy tradition. I gotta gotta get all the uh, the tech issues out of the way right up front. But uh, that that's kind of a head pat. Let's see. Yeah, that that looks pretty good. I, I think I can deal with that. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us tonight. Let's go ahead and get the mech started up soon. Oh, Taff forgets my references. You love to see it. Okay. All right. So. Um, real quick, guys. Oh, Reason. readings attired, M. Good to see ya. But yeah, real quick, there may be some stability issues tonight. This one is notorious for being a little bit of a butthead. There's also not usually music within the missions. So I have selected a small playlist of various music that I like from MechWarrior, and hopefully that doesn't get me in any trouble. And if you guys don't like it, we can turn it off and just go with the game's bare audio. But I figured, why not, you know? Like, this is this is kind of an empty-feeling game from 1998 sometimes, so we'll spice it up a little bit. But of course, when it's playing its own music, I'll always give that priority. Hey, hey, Furcung! Good to see ya! You gotta jiggle the keys first? Oh, you know it. Alright, so let's, uh, let's- hold on. We gotta get me into fighting Trim. You're still sad that the best version of this was taken down due to MechWarrior Online? Are you talking about MechWarrior Living Legends? Because I'm here to tell you that there's still Living Legends right now. You could play it. And they're even working on Living Legends 2, which is going to be in the Unreal Engine. It's it's back, baby! Alright, we gotta get me my digs. There we go. That's more like it. And, you know, I, I just, I gotta, I gotta wiggle. Yeah, that'll do. I'm totally gonna get displaced over the course of the night. This is probably futile, but like, for the sake of posterity, let's actually get me in my cockpit here. Oh, you're thinking of mech tech? Yeah, mech tech is, uh, mech tech is gone, but you can still get the files. I won't tell you where, but it is technically abandoned where, so I, I, I don't think it'll get you in any trouble. All right, let me, let me just go ahead and really quick here Gonna, gonna go ahead and set this like this, so maybe, just maybe, if I get bonked out of my cockpit later, we'll have a chance of getting back to it. Alright, let's see if we can make the mechs go. Let's, let's see. Thanks for joining us tonight, everybody. Here goes, cross, cross your fingers or your paws or whatever you got. Your little claws. Oh, is it working? Oh yeah, you better believe we're gonna watch this dope-ass cutscene. Battlefields of the future are dominated by huge robotic war machines known as 
I'm gonna wait until the cutscene is over and then I have to shuffle it a little bit, but we we're good. I'm just gonna geek out for a second here. This was my first Mech Warrior game, and this is like one of my first introductions to the setting, and it just caught me immediately by the throat and was like, listen to me, I'm awesome. I love the voice acting, it's so weirdly sincere sounding for the time. Same year as Half-Life 1! Oh wait, no, a year later. Yeah, these are the end games. I repeat, the mechs have split up. Copy, Grand Commander. We're on them. Fireflies 1 and 2. Track the 4. Roger that, Commander. We're almost there. We'll handle the Mad Cat. Ground Commander, the mechs Standby did not walk out. together the entire time. What do we do? Wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the planner. Ejecting. Ejecting! Oh no, maybe I shouldn't have stood so close. We're tracking the Thor. Lance Leader, do you read? Moving the target area. Leg damage is slowing me down. Firefly 1 and 2. Some of these camera right. angles are still dope. Ah! Whoops. Can't show that on TV. He made the golden ice cream. Understood, sir. We're on it. Fire. Oh, you guys really messed up. That was not a good matchup. Ah, oh, such a good shot. War. Yeah, hell yeah, that's so good. Digi is a mech pilot. I know, shocking, right? Who could ever imagine? Arrow. Ow! Oh, thanks for the arrows. All right, so I'm going to shuffle this around a little bit because it's going to fight me and it's never going to want to get moved again once I have it where I have it. So just let me uh, make sure I can see all of your beautiful chats. And make sure I know who's uh, actually bullying me. And, oh, I already broke it. Okay, we'll fix it. It'll be quick. It'll be super duper quick. But I, I can skip the cutscene this time and just get to it. There we go. Okay, now I just have to move it, which is really hard. Because it doesn't actually interact like a normal... M m ah! See? I told you guys there'd be a little scuff. But once once we get it moved, it should be good. Oh, I can see you there, Skeletor, so, but nice try. Okay, just gotta be super careful. There we go. Alright, this time I got it. This time it's all good. Oh, did I forget to silly me? We gotta, we gotta hide my gizmo. There we go. Thank you for the head pats. Okay, alright. I'm almost ready. We're almost set up here. And you guys have solid video? You're good? Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna just delete this. It was my testing file. And we're just gonna start fresh. I almost typed fresh. You don't know what it is, but you just can't not give Digi head pats. Oh, that's too sweet. Oh, he's expositioning. Hold on. Yeah, fuck you, Clan Smoke Jaguar. Homeworld of Huntress is officially declared neutralized, and the Starlink Defense Forces immediately moved against the Clan Space Capital World of Stronomac. In the 3050s, we still have CRTs with really shitty settings. The ranking Smoke Jaguar officer is still at large. Corbett has been located on the world of Trent. Corbett. He is fortifying his position and has called for remaining Jaguar forces to rally to him. In 
Intel has designed a commando operation codenamed Damocles to execute a quick strike, neutralizing resource centers and exiting before Corbett can... Operation Damocles is a pretty cool name. Our probes have uncovered a network of support facilities on this peninsula, which are Damocles' primary objectives. We predict only a modest opposition from garrison quality warriors. Ooh, famous last words. Drop pods from low orbit. The drop ships Black Hammer and Eclipse will disperse six single lance commando teams throughout the region, along with support. Okay, vehicles, six single lance commando teams. That means one will recon this operations area. Twenty four max. And then staging a raid against a mech production facility. Twenty four max, because one lance is four max. I don't know if 24 mechs is really enough for this operation. This urban area. Seems a little optimistic. At the spaceport. Extraction by dropship will follow successful completion That's of just two operations. companies. Why why are we This is a whole continent. Oh, this this cannot go well. Oh man, that's so cool. I love the computer voice in this one. Landing coordinates confirmed. Drop sequence commencing. Demicles one in support vehicles deployed. Testing recon probe. Video image. Oh, it's so good. Energy spike on the planet's surface. That indicates large Uh oh. Looks like they made a little fucky wucky. Did you guys get hit by the little orbital gun? Oh, Did you not do enough scouting before deploying? Can somebody redirect the probe? Sir, I have Damocles one damage. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Damn. Sir, Damocles four is breaking up. Damn. Damn. On the radio too. We've lost contact with dropship Black Hammer and Is this supposed to be Earth? Eclipse oh no, this this is uh this is a planet way very far away from Earth. I will tell you a little bit about it as we go. So like half of our under under strength team is already dead. That's not good. The intel rep for this mission was aboard the dropship, so we'll have to use canned data from an early probe flight. From our proposed oh, thanks for the salt permanent here, band three. We are to make our way west, neutralize the heavy missile platforms which control the lower valley, and then turn north following the river. This island facility is our final objective. The mech production site looks oh boy. Alright, we got our work cut out for us here. An easy target. This operation is to be performed in four tactical sub-ops indicated here. Oh, wait, four what? tactical sub-ops, aka we couldn't fit this all into one mission. You sure that's all we have? Alright, give me the tech map. Lance Leader, our probe data is extremely out of date. However, you're falling slightly off target. We predict a shallow water splashdown north of this fishing village. In order to get to the beach, vehicles have to use this bridge. You'd love to be a fly on the wall for the meeting that pitched this mission. I mean, that's the thing. Oh, oh man, I'll have to get into that. This is a big thing. There is so much context here. I'm going to be info dumping about the setting for most of the night. These emplacements have to be eliminated. Up Point Baker is the programmed landing target of the mobile field base. We'll wait for you there. Cut the feed. Did he dump? Neutralize communication Never speak that phrase again. That sounds awful. Mobile field base at up point Baker. Nah, you're all good. These SRM emplacements. Okay, he's loud now. The cutscene was the cutscene was way quieter. Okay, everybody, welcome to Mech Warrior Three. So, if you didn't catch that from the intro. We are a band of soldiers with mechs, aka mech warriors, 
and we are being deployed to this planet, which is owned by Clan Smoke Jaguar. Those guys are known for doing a lot of war crimes, and they've been really bad. So everybody in the inner sphere, which is most of habited human space, has temporarily set aside their differences, more or less, to go and basically eradicate Clan Smoke Jaguar on their own homeworlds. It's pretty messed up, but a lot of things that are that have been messed up have led up to this. So now we have to go kill those clanners. And uh, suffice it to say, if you know much about the setting, they deserve it. They they did they did a little genocide, and they're not nice guys. So we're gonna show up and we're gonna wreck all their stuff. And it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun. Also, a boat. Oh no, the boat. Well. I hope that wasn't important. You'll take their Omni Mechs, but otherwise they can fuck off. Yeah, basically. Also, future Mech Warrior games only have little textures for people, but this one they're fully polygonal. So here, here you go, everybody. Here's a war crime. He turned into Jibs. In the German version of Mech Warrior Three, they just disappear if you even look at them. If you try to get close to them, or if you target them, they just disappear. Because Germany. This game was your childhood. Awesome, Beralin. Yeah, this is my first MechWarrior game that I really had much experience with, and I am a big fan. And also, you have no idea how much of a pain in the butt it was to get this to run properly. Because normally, the physics are tied to the frame rate in this game, so if you can even get it to run, which, shockingly, it just ran without any tweaks on my system, then usually the APCs jump around like Mario, and it can be really problematic because you need to kill the APCs to complete some of the missions, but they can go all the way up into orbit, and, and that can be a problem. Thankfully, I was able to work out not only a way to get it to run stably, but to get it to run in a window so we can play together tonight, and I'm, I'm very happy about that. You've played 2, 4, and 5, and you haven't given it a try to getting this one to work despite hearing it's considered the best of them. Troublesome Taffer, I will help you get it running. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and put on very quiet little bits of Mech Warrior music here. Let me know if it's too much. Mech Power Up Detected. I love how she says it. No, I didn't get that, boss. So we got long range missiles here, we got an auto cannon 10, which the, the numbers of auto cannons are kind of a weird thing. It's based on how much damage they do. But some of them shoot a lot and some shoot a little. So you have to kind of... Whoa, hey, speaking of mechs, there's one right now. Oh, the Caballeros novels have been taking over your brain. Yes, Chica, I'm so happy to hear that. Oh, they're so good. Alright, so this is an Owens. This is an Inner Sphere mech, but for some reason the Smoke Jaguars have it here because I don't know. That's just how this, this particular mech warrior is. So, so, look for- oh my god. Where do I even start? It is the 31st century, and war has changed. The battlefield is dominated by 10 meter tall these guys called battle mechs. And they come in a range of weights from 20 tons to over 100. And they are super danger. But we're going to cheese them in this game by simply legging everything. Uh, so battle mechs rule the battlefield. And in this universe, they have come up with a lot of really silly contrived reasons why battle mechs would be good. Instead of, you know, like not a very practical vehicle. Don't worry about it. Don't think too hard about it. It's just fun. Oh man, I should save my ammo though. I forget how much that becomes a problem later on. Yeah, you just blow off the leg instead of making them limp in this one. It's great. Later mech warrior games were like, legging is too powerful. Oh, we shot the radio dish and they hate that. Well, let's shoot it some more. Okay, so you heard that wonk, wonk, wonk. My heat meter is over here on the right, if you see. And uh, that's going to be a major factor here. 
Heat is the mech warrior's worst enemy other than other mechs. If I go too high, I'll show you what happens. So we're 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 hot. We're spicy hot. Wonk wonk wonk. Core meltdown imminent. That doesn't sound good. Well, the mech won't let that happen usually, so it shuts itself down, and you you wait until you cool down, and that can be a big problem when you're in a big fight. So obviously we want to avoid that. Oh, hello, Snow Meow. You love Mech Warrior Three's whole take on salvage in the campaign. Oh, do you mean like whatever's on the mech, you get it? Also, nice to meet you. Good to see a new face in here. If running hot is such an issue for mechs, they must really struggle once I get in the cockpit. Oh, oh Taffer, you're gonna make me blush. Thanks. Uh, yeah. So, battle mechs. They're, they're big. They're stompy. And they have a variety of different weapons. You got energy weapons, ballistic weapons, and missile weapons that make up most of them. But, uh, yeah, if you're not careful and you have too many energy weapons... And you shoot them all at once, your mech can get so hot that it just straight up explodes. Which, uh, that's fun to do for a laugh, but can be a big problem if you're trying to beat the campaign. Oh yeah, it's way harder to detonate with guns or missiles from heat. However, every part of the mech is modeled damage-wise. So if your ammo box gets hit, and all of the ammunition inside is destroyed, catastrophic damage awaits you. You're screwed. You're, you're in a bad, bad way. So there are a lot of good reasons to avoid getting shot in the ammo bin. So even if you might not explode from heat, you, you may end up exploding for other reasons if you take a lot of ammo taker weapons. Oh yeah, well if you want to get into World War II tank nerds here, like, they actually do have... Uh, yes, there is a shutdown override if you want to, if you want to go crazy. I don't remember what button it is, though. It's been a while. It's O in MechWarrior Online, but it's not here. But, uh, what was I saying? Gosh. Oh no, we don't want to do that! Oh, we don't- we don't have Lance mates yet, our, our teammates. So, okay. Right, I'm gonna loop back around. Battle mechs. I explain what those are now. So, there are a couple- well, there are many different factions in Battletech. It's almost like a Game of Thrones in space type situation. Like, the books are more than half, like, political backroom intrigue between nobles and stuff. It's not just mechs shooting each other. The mechs shoot each other because the nobles did something bad and now they gotta fight about it. But, um, there's... Okay, so humanity sort of spread outwards from Terra, aka Earth. And they got this faster-than-light system called the Kearney Fuchida Jump Drive. And that basically just rips a hole in space-time, and you kind of just shoot your ship through it, and you end up coming out up to 30 light-years away. So humanity has to go in like little 30, 30 light-year jumps through the universe, finding other planets that are habitable, and they do that for hundreds of years. They're pretty successful at it. It goes eh, reasonably well, and they form something called the Star League, which is widely viewed as an era of prosperity and high technology. But eventually, some bad shit happens, and the Star League falls. And then it turns into war forever. Oh hey, here's our mobile field bases. These are our, these are our good buddies. We're, we love them. So the Star League falls. And people start fighting over the empty throne of the Star League. And... Oh, sorry, he's talking. Ooh, we got an Owens out of that mission. Radio encryption. You will receive a direct feed of clan intentions. Finally, Dominic Gunner Payne deployed successfully and has moved into position to keep clan forces. Oh, Dominic Payne. We will rendezvous with him as Oh, hey, Methodical Fox. Yeah, Twitch has me Twitch has changed our tagging methods now. So now you have to know that I might say the fuck word sometimes. We're having a little exposition, and then we're going to have more exposition. There's some construction going on here. The MFB will investigate after you've cleared the area. This 
barracks facility is off Point Able. We're counting on getting some significant salvage. Just past this lake is the major threat in this area. This is a heavy missile platform, and it sits right Oh, we don't like the heavy missile platform. That, that thing is a butthead. Objective Able, Objective Baker. The missile platform has a range well beyond the barracks area. Terrain analysis has found a blind spot in the coverage to the south. Expect moderate mech resistance, especially as the approaches the to missile the missile platform. platform knows where the doggy is at all times. It knows this because it knows where she isn't. And yeah, the briefings are so cool. I feel like I have to shut up for them. I'm so glad that you appreciate them too. You don't know anything about the Mech Warrior series. This one came out in 1999. It was being worked on at the same time as Half Life came out in 98. It's, it's really good for its era, I think. Like, I think it still holds up really well. But yeah, now we get access to the mech lab, which is going to be endless fun. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on a little background music, because it's so, it's so quiet without it. Alright, so first thing I want to do is pull out these machine guns, because they're nearly worthless. But the ammo is highly explosive. So we gotta get rid of it. And we're going to go ahead and put a couple more heat sinks in here. No, we don't want them in the arms, though. We want them in the legs. You have memories of creating absolute abominations in the mech lab for this game? It is very flexible compared to modern mech warriors. Oh, wait. Case costs weight. Case is cellular ammunition storage equipment. And it's basically blowout panels, like a tank. So you don't explode horribly when you die. Or, well, when you get shot in the ammo. With Thor with two LBX-20s, that's nasty. Two big-ass battle mech shotguns. So we're pretty, we're pretty scarce on weight right now. What we could do is change our internal structure to endosteel. But, then we'd have to make some room for all the structure. What I specifically want is another large laser, and we don't have the room for that if we do endosteel. So we're gonna go with some... Oh, we already have ferrofibrous armor. Gosh darn it. Well, looks like we're SOL there. So there's not a whole lot we can do yet with our... Wait, no, yes we can. Hold your horses. What we're dealing with, what we need is tonnage. Nope. Can't fit it. Not worth doing yet. We're gonna go ahead and just simply... Oh wait, no. More armor, not less. Hi, there we sir. go. Oh, greetings, Meryl Vixenberg. Glad you could join us. More ammo for the AC-10. If we got any, that's a good idea. Yeah, that thing, that thing takes a lot of ammo, and it, it doesn't really carry a lot. But... Oh wait, right, the other arm. There we go, we fit a little bit more gun food. Oh, and we must make sure to grab our salvage, otherwise it'll get rid of it. Wait, did I just do- Okay, yes, I did that right. Oh yes, the mechs need ammo. That's why I like the energy weapons a little bit more in a lot of cases. But we're going to be holding on to ammo in between missions. It's persistent, so I have to be careful not to spend too much of it frivolously. Oh, thanks for the head pats there, Methodical Fox. Yeah, so, right. The Star League, it fell. It was- it was bad time for a lot of people. They were slinging nukes left and right and blowing up planets. Well, not blowing up planets. They can't do that, but blowing up planets, food supplies, and stuff like that. Factories, everything was- was a big mess. So, um, the guy who was basically in charge of the Star League military was like, Forget all this, I'm leaving. I'm going to leave the Inner Sphere, which is the name for, like, all of human inhabited space. And just go somewhere with all of our weapons and all of our soldiers, all of our best guys, so that so that they don't just chew up the worlds and, you know, like, cause everybody horrible hardship. 
And I'm taking all my Atlas twos with me. That's right, Snow Meow. And, uh, so he just left. He just hit the bricks. Ooh, that was a good one. Oh, I'm living in a box. Living in a cardboard box. So yeah, um, and that general's name was Alexander Kerensky. And he was kind of a G for that. He was a cool dude. He wanted to stop some war crimes from happening. And all of the... Oh yeah, the ambient lighting effects are really cool. Wow. So Kerensky left with all of his guys and they just went in a direction for a long time. Like hundreds of light years in their in their big flotilla of jump ships, which is the name of the ships that jump in this universe. Go figure. And uh oh wow, I'm being really injudicious. There was a big turret. Enemy unit sighted. Yeah, Alexander Kerensky was like, This sucks on ice and he just he just hit the bricks. Um so he left with the great bulk of all the military force in the inner sphere, and eventually he died. And his son, Nicholas Kerensky, was like, you know what? I'm forming my own society that doesn't fall into civil wars and, and conflict and, and throwing nukes at each other. And he did, and he called them the clans, which totally wasn't sus at all. That wasn't a sussy name to give them or anything. And all the clans were sort of like this... Well, okay, Battletech was written in the early 80s, so the clans are kind of like this weird hybrid between, like, totemic Native American culture and Soviet Russia. They are a warlike, caste-based, genetically engineered, communist space culture. Sort of. It's really, it's really interesting. So, like, there's a bunch of different sub-clans named things like Clan Wolf, or Clan Jade Falcon, Clan Smoke Jaguar, Clan Hell's Horses, etc. They all, they all have some kind of fursona, basically. And they all have their own little traditions and their own little things that they do. But the clans are all working towards the big goal of someday they will go back to the inner sphere and liberate the people there from their hardship. And, and bring them into a new golden era. But of course, some clans think of that- they, Some clans' idea of a golden era is, like, luxury gay space communism. And then other clans' idea of it is, like, horrible fascist eth ethno-state. So, like, there's some disagreement in the clans between different clans about how they're supposed to go about this. And, uh, so basically, eventually the clans, after spinning about 250 years away from society. Wow, we're gonna need to restart the mission at this rate because I'm getting pounded by the turret. Um, hello, Strider. I'm ignoring you for now because we're redoing the mission. Uh, yeah, they let the- well, Blackjacks were actually engineered as a- so the Inner Sphere developed the Blackjack. And the Clanners left behind most of the Blackjacks. But then when the clans came, the Inner Spheres saw their cool Omnimechs and they were like, Oh man, we gotta make one of those. So they made the worst Omnimech ever, the Blackjack Omni, which sucks. But yeah, anyway, the clans came back. They, they sat on their hands for like 250 years, inventing new technologies and getting stronger and geneti genetically engineering themselves in creepy little ways. And uh, the whole time that they were doing this, the Inner Sphere was basically nuking themselves back to the Dark Age. It was pretty rough. And then eventually the clans were like, okay, we're going in. And all the clans that disagreed with each other were like, alright, whoever gets to Terra, aka Earth, first gets to decide what kind of society we're building. And, uh, yep, that, that's what they did. They just invaded. And so all of these little nation states in the Inner Sphere that have been fighting over who gets to to sit in the now 250 years empty throne of the Star League are like, oh fuck, we're in danger. These guys' technology is lighter than ours. Their mechs go faster than ours. Their weapons do more damage and hit from further away. What do we do? And they ended up banding together and basically staging like a, a proxy battle where they throw in everything and some story stuff happens and basically the clans they lose. They lose this proxy battle due to their own hubris. And then the Inner Sphere is like, right, okay, these guys are just going to come back in a few years. 
We need to go to their home worlds and stomp their shit so that they never come and fight us again. Which, spoilers! They do stomp their shit, but it doesn't work out the way they hoped in the long run. The clans remain a problem. But yeah, we're, we're in the part of the storyline now where the clans have been stopped in their drive for Earth. They, they don't have humanity's birthright of Terra. But now the inner spheres are like, okay guys, we gotta go to clan space and fuck them up. Even though they have better tech than us. Hey, wait, we're in the last level that we were in. Oops. That's not where we're supposed to be. Uh, so yeah. We are here to cause problems for the clans. TLDR. That, that's basically what's going on. I don't know how to make it any more succinct than that. Because Battletech is just like... 35 years of art and fiction at this point. Oh hey, Chubby Tech Goat. Good to see ya. How you doing? How you been? Oh yes, the clans fight with each other a lot. Are we the good guys? Mmm. Kind of. Kind of. Yeah, I would say that at the moment our cause is more just than the clans. For the moment. Because we're going and spanking Clan Smoke Jaguar. And the reason that Clan Smoke Jaguar is the, the target is because when they were doing the invasion, they kind of used their orbital ships to, uh... They used their warships to orbitally, orbitally bombard an entire city of civilians as punishment for a military action. Uh, they're not very nice people. And they kind of killed millions of civilians. So, you decide. I would say that the groups that we individually work for are not always the good guys, but for the moment, we are getting a righteous revenge. Hey, look, guys, look. The virtual boy. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Clan Smoke Jaguar did have death camps. That is, that, that is pretty problematic. Well, specifically, they, they bombarded the city because... Somebody important that they had captured escaped from one of said death camps. So they were pretty salty about that. And they said, okay, well, we're gonna we're gonna nuke your city a little bit. Which is even the inner sphere, which is really used to doing naughty things to each other, was like, whoa, 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 that's a little much. Okay, the missiles are aggressive and they know where I am at all times. Ow! God, Jesus! I don't even have anti-missile system yet! Also, hi there, the Punisher MHN! How you doing? How you been? Thank you, Bill said the science kid. Hello? Oh, that's a big tank. We want to get rid of that. Woohoo! He's got almost as much firepower as we do. Is the- Oh my god, the missile platform is still nailing us from over here. These clanners don't seem to be using encryption, though. They should really be using NordVPN. No, I'm kidding. I, I'm, not, I'm not doing that shit. Don't you worry about that. But yeah, I guess the clanners are just transmitting in the clear. Because our mission commander keeps hearing them and going, What was that? If you want to attract pirates, make sure the rum isn't gone. Why is the rum gone? Okay, we need to get rid of that missile platform right there. That is our ultimate foe of the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to crank our torso up so that we get a better launch angle. Because as long as I stay locked on, the missiles will go right where I want them to, even if I launch them like that. Check that out! Isn't that super cool? Lots of neat little technology like that in this game. Yeah, those those are good hits. I want to hold on to a little bit of extra ammo, though. God, this thing will not die. Ace combat ass logic of everyone transmit over the same frequency and is surprised when someone else hears them. Yeah, that, that is very ace combat, isn't it? 
Yeah, it's a little harder to do the missile trick in some of the newer mech warriors, but you can do it. Uh, I've done it in online a little bit. Oh, you picked up Ace Combat 7 and you're liking it so far. Cool, glad to hear it. Gosh darn it. Wonk, 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 wonk. Yeah, we're out of coolant and flush, so I can't get rid of my heat very easily. I think we're finally within the minimum range of this stupid thing, though, so it can't hurt us at the moment. However, it's twin over there. And this tank right here are a bigger problem. <laughs> Motorola won the franchise wars, and now all vehicles are equipped with a three-mile transceiver from Target. Honestly, with the way the Battletech setting is, that wouldn't even be that unrealistic of a thing. So, MechWarrior has a specific concept that's becoming more and more relevant in our day-to-day -day life. It's called Lost Tech. And if you didn't get the idea from the name, it's technology that, even if it still exists a little, they don't know how to make it anymore and they don't really understand how it works. So... Like, they can keep existing examples running, but they can't manufacture it anymore. And that's a thing now with CRT monitors. Like, we already have lost tech in our day-to-day -day lives. So I think a lot about lost tech these days. But battle tech is so bad that some planets, like... Some planets don't even have laser eye surgery. You can have somebody from another planet come and land on your shitty little primitive planet where you don't even have laser eye surgery and they could kill you with a 30 foot tall robot with a giant laser. Oh yeah, brands brands from now exist a lot in Battletechs. Uh, G General Motors is an actual Canon Battletech manufacturer. This is the truth. Yes, you guys are right. I believe the mech that I'm piloting right now, which is called a bushwhacker, it looks like this. Love the arms, love that you can crouch. My mech has teabagging. This important functionality. And uh, yeah, I believe the engine in this particular mech, the, the room temperature fusion engine, is built by Gener Gen General Motors. Wow. Stumble doggy. Twitch warned you that there might be vulgarity and then you see this right as you tune in. Oh yeah, gotta 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 live up to my content warning there. The mech looks like it's squishing itself when it's crouching. A little bit, let's see, let's see. I mean it is kind of just squishing, isn't it? I do really like how everything animates in this game. There's a surprising amount of freedom in how the mech controls. Wow, we are super low on options for low heat weapons. And I'm trying not to waste ammo. So we sure are going to be using this large laser a lot until we get this a better option. This is weird, and it is. You're a demon. No! I'm a demon. Uh, really? Really, I'm not! Hey, Texmax DD, how you doing? How you been? We gotta bust this bulldog. Actually, really, we don't have to. Let's see. Gotta capture the enemy barracks at all point in able. Oh, you're doing good. Glad to hear it. It is Thursday, and we're having some fun with Mech 3. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Over. Repeat last transmission. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh wow! I shouldn't shoot that from that range. I thought I had the laser equipped. You're not a demon. You're a half demon. You're Inuyasha. Wow, I didn't know Inuyasha was in here. This free birth is mine. Inuyasha? Oh, thanks for hypnospace mode there, Toastline. Uh-oh, can we not use that underwater? 
Ew, slime in my hypnospace mode. Oh, it showed his rear to me. This is the best. Hypno slime. Ooh, fun. So this is such a crappy mech, but he does have missiles that are kind of dangerous. A strider in the lake. Does that make it a water strider? Ah, shit, you're right. Huh. That's a good one. Can I get the cockpit on this guy? The cockpit hitbox is like two. Two pixels. Oh, you should continue Hypno Space Outlaw? Oh, you definitely should attire him. Hypno Slime is your favorite E6 bookmark? Ah, noted. Just die already, jeez. You see why I tend to prioritize shooting them in the legs. Whoa, nice side shot with the missiles, bro. There we go. Oh, he ejected. Wait, no, that was just a panel. Well, you're gonna drown now if you didn't eject. Oh yeah, I could fix the hypno space there, but you you saw you saw behind the curtain a little bit. Okay, we just gotta get the uh, the enemy barracks and we're good to go. We got every enemy force, so should be uncontested. Let me out of here though. Oh, here's the barracks. Oh, we did it! You like how the MechWarrior 5 and MechWarrior Online Atlas hitboxes for the cockpit is just one of the eyes? That's where it actually is, too. Hey guys, what's up? Oh, don't run into me. That's a bad idea. Hey GundamFan1214, good to see ya. How you doing? How you been? Oh yeah, so this game has really good technology for the time. I just want to point out, like, check out the the legs. There's inverse kinematics on the feet. Like, look at him twist. Look at him go. Like, it conforms to terrain so nicely, even the individual toes. MechWarrior Online doesn't even do this. Like, I'm going to go up on a hill, and you're going to see the legs, they just, they stay. They always go where they're supposed to, and it looks so right. Meanwhile, in MechWarrior Online, if you stand on a slope, one of your legs just sort of hovers in midair. That's so good! Look at that! Yeah, sorry, I just needed a moment to share that with people who would appreciate it like I do. We found a couple of dismantled warship class assault lasers at that construction site. Too bad we can't use them. Yeah, too bad we can't stick warship lasers on our mech. Oh yeah, Micropros worked their little asses off on this one. Too bad the source code is lost forever. Oh, you love Mac Warrior too? Oh, excellent. You're in good company. Oh, briefing time. We need to be there. Bring up probe data. These facilities guard the bridge which we consider our best route across the river. Freeze data. This, my friends, is an annihilator. An assault mech. But this data is old. Run data. Keep a sharp lookout. We'll run Boy, I sure hope they here. don't have an annihilator here. That would be way too much damage for us. Operation points are set as shown. You have Why does my briefing officer sound like Bob Wait Page? Why Holy it? shit, I can never unhear it. For us so we don't have it's cool. cool. We'll move through the valley on your orders and rendezvous here. I mean, this we game came out a year before Deus Ex. It is could be him. You're a demon. No! No! Me demon. <laughs> really? <laughs> really, I'm not. Okay, guys. Go, go, go. Well, as much as I want to go, 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 we got to take a break, break, break. But don't worry. We're going to be back in just five minutes with more MechWarrior 3 and more DigiDoggy.
I'm gonna make sure to, uh, oh, well, we don't even need to worry about saving it. Did it for us. Isn't that delightful? Right, a game from 1999 that knows about autosaves. We'll but yeah, we're gonna break now some tins. Do don't you worry, though, we'll be back soon. Time. And before you know it, we'll be having some more fun with MechWarrior 3 and DigiDoggy. See you soon, everybody.
Welcome back, everybody. Oh, oh, hey, welcome in, Raiders. Thank you for joining tonight. I'm DigiDoggy, your favorite dog shaped robot corgi girl. Sorry about that, Hantame. I, I would have greeted you sooner, but I was AFK. I was grabbing some popcorn. How you doing tonight? How you been? Thanks for joining, everybody. Like I said, I'm DigiDoggy, your favorite dog shaped robot corgi girl. And tonight, we're playing Mech Warrior 3. So glad you could join us this evening. Wow, wow, wowie, wow. What were you getting up to there, Hantame? Thank you for sharing your community with us. What Digi Doggy, Twitch's in. most devoted popcorn enjoyer. Hey, look, if you've got a better little, like, quickly edible snack that you could just have one or two of in, in the middle of streaming without making a bunch of noise and without getting Cheeto fingers, then, uh, you know, let me know about it. Oh, you were playing some Titanfall 2 and you saw I was playing a mecha game too? Hell yes, I love Titanfall 2. Were you having a good time with it? Were you going through the campaign or were you playing some multiplayer? Because either way, both are really awesome. Yeah, maybe, maybe a little bit of a popcorn enthusiast. Lance Leader, can you get a sit rep? Hey, Jade Wolf. Well, this is Lance Leader Doggy here. All systems nominal. We are busting clanners and having some fun with Mech Warrior 3. We're in the pipe. Bye bye bye. Somebody walked in front of your Titan laser once. Uh oh. That's not fun. Oh, you're playing multiplayer though. I'm so glad that there's still people playing and having fun with that super legendary amazing game. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get back to our fun game here. We're playing some Mech Warrior 3. Which I'm really excited to be doing with everybody, because it's kind of a pain in the butt. Not the game. The game isn't a pain in the butt, but the uh, it's a pain in the butt to get it running. Alright, let's see here. Let's see if I can get it to come back without breaking. Oh yeah, we're good to go. Oh wow, it's so stable. I This thing, this game gave me hours of grief getting it set up, so I'm really thrilled that it's doing okay now. Uh, hello, Summon Knight. Thanks for joining tonight. Oh, you're playing the North Star client. Oh, I'm really excited to try that one out. I haven't had a chance to try out the North Star mod yet. Uh, did they get Frontier Defense working? Because that, that was my jam. I love Frontier Defense. I'm gonna take- oh, I just want a little bit of that armor. Hello, Xavier! Good to see ya! How you doing? How you been? Thanks for that follow while I was offline, by the way. I see you! I appreciate you! Thank you very much! Oh, thanks for the PlayStation there, Tex Max DD. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna stick it in my mech so I have something to do while we're waiting in between missions. Okay. So, we don't have a lot of free space in this thing at the moment. Hmm. Well... If our mass is full up, and we've only got these weapons... I guess that's that's good enough. We could just go with it. Wait! Oh, I see. Alright, we're, we're happy days now. Got a clan LRM-10 here, so we're gonna go ahead and stick that. That weighs less and does the same amount of missiles, but with a little more damage. We need a little ammo for it, too. There we go. How much mass? Oh, we, we have half a ton left. Oh, one of your favorite retro mech games is Mech Assault 2 Lone Wolf. Oh, I really like that one. I played so much of that one on Xbox Live back in the day. You could you could steal mechs in it, you could mech jack people, which made Battletech fans very mad, because that is so not how it goes, but it was a fun game. It was it was my introduction to the setting. Oh boy, I was I was trying to have a drink, but uh, nope, we got mechs already. Hey, Connie Pookie, how's it going? How's it been? We're playing Mech Warrior Three, having a lot of fun. Oh, this guy's making it easy for me. 
Wait, 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 wait. That's... Oh, our weapon groupings are messed up. That's not good. I don't remember how to fix that in the mission. I think we're just gonna have to deal with it. Well, he's he's making this remarkably easy. Just standing there for me. Man, I thought these were supposed to be clanners, the super elite mega ultra badass dudes. Oh, I really like the lock-on sound in this game, but I can understand how some people might find it annoying. Wow, that's a lot of tanks down there. It's been going alright. Learning about art and music while looking for a job. Oh, well, I hope that's been going well for you. I've been doing okay. Been keeping super duper busy, but we're having fun and slowly getting more comfortable with trying out more adventurous games on the stream. It reminds you of Star Wars sounds. Oh yeah, it does have kind of that vibe, doesn't it? That kind of warm analog sound. Oh man, I really need a beverage. One second. I need a coolant flush here. Maybe those pilots are trashborns? Wow, that's a slur, Taffer. What? How did he know my name? Oh, I guess that's Commander Freya. He said Commander Freya, and I was like, what the fuck? I thought for a second, I was like, does this game have like a really good text-to-speech engine? Like, what? I got so used to Hippie and Hypnospace Outlaw calling, calling me by name that I was just like, okay, anything is possible. That got me good. I had a solid moment of like, Nani the fuck? Chotamate the fuck up. But yeah, having a lot of fun with MechWarrior 3 is pretty much the only outcome you can have once you actually get it working. It's such a fun game. Oh. Ah, hey Pine Tree Noodle, good to see ya. How you doing? How you been? We're gonna knock this one down. We're gonna knock him down. He's not going down, he's solid. Oh, there we go. Whoops, I did not mean to shoot him with missiles at close range like that. But whoa, deformable terrain? Nice. Yeah, I'll take it. All right, we're gonna crank our torso up way high and give him the beans from long away. Reminds you of Psycho Mantis from Metal Gear Solid where it would read through stuff. Oh yeah, we had fun going through Metal Gear Solid 1 again recently. You rode 100 miles this week for work and your reimbursement for gas is 80 cents. You gotta get out of that place. That is no good. That That is complete garbage. Hey everybody! Pine Tree Noodle is open for commissions! She's really good. She did this model that I'm using right now. Oh shit, we're having a missile duel and I'm gonna lose! Oh, that wasn't too bad. Hey, Ocean the Foyote. Good to see ya. How you doing? How you been? What did the notification thing mean regarding the ridiculous tie? Um, it means that I forgot to change it when I first started the stream tonight. And it was still left over from last night's Half-Life 1 stream. I tried to fix it, but... Yeah... I guess the notifications didn't fix. Oh yeah, the cockpit design is really good. LRM-10? Yeah, 10... It's a 10-pack of long-range missiles. That's what that means. Oh, hey, do you see that right there? That's Commander Freya! That's me! Sort of. And unfortunately, it looks like she's gotten the first shot off. 
But uh, she's using the same mech as me too, so this is a weird mirror match if I ever saw one. Unfortunately for me, it looks like my mech is not in the best shape, and I may actually come out of this worse for the wear. But we'll see if we can get her. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I can I, I can actually stand in the water here, and it increases the rate that I sink heat. That's gonna be useful. Oh shit! Oh, the cockpit glass got starred. That's genuinely a little terrifying. Wait, where's my? Oh no, we lost the auto cannon. Oh, we we gotta restart. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be like that about this. I'll do better. I was I was goobing around too much. I gotta I gotta be more aggressive. Freya kills Freya. This time I will. This time I won't go bumbling around playing with tanks too much. Alright, get our radar nice and big. Your trainer says he drives 700 miles weekly. Oh yeah, this isn't gonna work out. This isn't gonna work. You should just leave. Like, get, get your paycheck and get out. It's not even worth staying the whole period of training. All right, well, we are going to bust this Firefly, who is obliging us once again with a, a super easy kill. There we go. The doggy is aggressive. Gotta be. We're in a war, you know. Uh, okay. I think... I think there's a button here for this. Oh, no, we're just gonna have to deal with alternating lasers and missiles for a minute. You get free tools for assembling bicycles, so you think you're gonna get the tools and leave? Yeah, that, that sounds like a good plan. Hit the bricks. You need, you need, you deserve an employer that respects you and your time. Oh, whoa, there's a tunnel? I didn't know there's a tunnel in this map. Let's go check it out. Ew. You love the missiles as you can be artillery with legs. Yeah, the missiles are really good in this particular game. Like, really extremely good. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna just go ahead and do it. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and fix that loadout because it's really bothering me. I need my weapons to be on different groups. Sorry, everybody. This- we're not losing much progress, though. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, those bike stands are nice. Okay, looks like it saved all of the important stuff that we did, so we just need to switch the weapon grouping. You go in weapon group 2. And now we will be way more effective. The missiles in this game were strong, but the missions were too long for ammo to be a particularly good idea in most cases. That's right, Baralin. The LRMs are super good in this game, actually. They do a high amount of damage and have a huge range, but of course this guy has an anti-missile system just to make life a little more interesting for us. Oh, get stumbled, nerd! Yep, easy. Yeah, I feel a lot better now that I'm not fighting my weapon groups. In MechWarrior Online, you can just switch those on the fly. And I think you can in this game too, but I don't remember how. I have chosen this tank in particular to die. There we go. Oh wow, that is a lot of splash damage on the missiles. Oh yeah, I've spent way too many hours in MechWarrior Online over the years. Commander Freya, you are dealing with this situation. Neg. I am pulling warriors from the planes. We will oh right, so that's the- I was talking about the clans earlier. 
and how they they are their own little society in this universe. They also have their own manners of speaking. So clanners are very formal. Clanners do not use contractions. They don't say things like don't. They find it to be uncivilized or whatever. So clanners are very formal. They they speak almost in like a in an oratorio way as though you were taking them in front of a camera for a speech. And instead of saying yes or no, they say af or neg. And whoa, he did a jump. That was sick. That guy was ready. He was like, I'm taking you down. But uh, yeah, the clanners. So clanners are interesting because they have speech patterns. Like if they have a question that they're asking you and they expect you to answer a certain way, they'll basically prompt you. So like, uh, so you say quiaf when you think that something's going to be yes. Like, you brought the soda, quiaf. But when you think it's not going to be like, you, you, when you think it's not going to be a thing, you say neg. So like, hmm. You do not think the Mets will win the tournament, Queeneg. It, it's very weird. Um, but I kind of like it. And you can even find, like, Detected. nerds in the Battletech fandom that roleplay as clanners and, and do all that. So, it, it's fun. It's a fun little bit of color to the setting. Oh yeah, the clanners are definitely weirdos. But it's a, it's a very unique society within pop culture, so... I always like seeing stories about the clanners. Oh yes. Yeah, shut me down. It's fine now. It makes such a good sound when it shuts down and starts up too. Oh, by the way, I don't know if it's evident from the gameplay but you, you have a lot of axes of freedom in this game. So my legs are separate from my torso here. You can see the torso is quite articulated. And uh, so you can crank it around pretty far. And even further still, you can, uh, well, if I can do it, the arms are articulated as well. So you can get them to go really far in a direction and, and basically shoot almost behind you. Oh yeah, the torso twist speed in this is way higher than it is in Mech Warrior 3, that's for sure. But yeah, th this game is really cool about that. You, you really do have a lot of flexibility, and it makes mechs seem more worth doing. Versus some games where it's just like a first-person shooter character. You know, where the gun sort of grows out of the front of you, and it shoots forward. Like, check that shit out! You can see where it's coming out of the mech. And I vectored it upwards with my reticle so that it would arc over the hill. Like, that's just cool. That's a cool touch. It lets you be such a little jerkus and stand behind cover and just send it. Although I think I'm arcing a little further than I should be. Let's try that. Yeah, see, it'll just scoot right over the terrain. Or, or make a big crater if I misjudge the perspective, you know. I really, I, I just, I love how much depth there is to it. Oh, and Battletech, you really like the elementals? Okay, let's talk about elementals. So, we've talked about the clanners and how they are genetically engineered. Uh, the way the clanners do genetically engineering is, is kind of interesting, though. They don't, like, tweak genes directly, they just... They basically have a eugenics program. They they gather... Sp sperm and eggs from different clan warriors and put them together. And they basically just select them for, for genetic traits based on, like, their battle history. They're like, this guy won a lot, so he probably has really good genes, we're gonna go with that. So they basically make a whole a whole society of solid snakes. And, uh, yeah, so they're, they're not, like, changing, they're not flipping around chromosomes or whatever. But they are, they are trying to make the super baby. Uh, yeah, it's science fiction because this actually does something. Well, you could argue that it doesn't, though. Except for, they do actually tweak, uh, sort of. They, so there's different kinds of clanners. There's the mech warrior clanners, the, the normal, regular, old, like, 
battle mech piloting mech warrior clan or the regular bog standard clan warrior. But then there's also elementals and aerospace pilots. And aerospace pilots are kind of tiny little twinks with slightly oversized heads and big eyes. And they fly fighter jets and they supposedly have like better reflexes and stuff. I have really made a mistake by walking right up to this thing. I really shouldn't have done that. Um, so there's the aerospace fighter pilots. Those guys are, are you know, interesting. They're, they're basically new types from, from Gundam. Uh, and then you also have elementals. And elementals are basically McMuscle sausage. They're, they're just big beefy dudes. They're like seven to eight feet tall outside of the special power armor that has been developed specifically for them. And the power armor is like 12 feet tall when it has them in it. And the whole point of the elemental power armor is that it has little jump jets and it has a little claw and it has some short range missiles and a mech sized laser. And they just, they get together and they just fuck everything up. Oh, summon night, you gotta hit the bed? All right, thanks for keeping us company. Glad you could join us a little bit. Have a good rest, and we'll see you tomorrow for some Metal Gear Solid portable ops. Yes, the battle mechs- I mean, sorry, the elementals have a claw. They do. And it can cut straight through mech armor. It's pretty nasty. So they go around in groups of 5 to 25, and they climb all over battle mechs and rip them to pieces. From what you heard, they exist to get thrown onto the biggest mech in a battle and then die? Oh shit, the elementals are here! They're gonna pull me right out of my cockpit! Oh no! You got me good there, troublesome taffer. Nice one. Alright, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna have to deal with this thing for a second. The clanners got me! Oh no! I'm in a bad spot right now. This is bad positioning against a mech of equal tonnage that is not struggling with the damaged body. And I can't get a good lead on her because of the water. I really want that bushwhacker though, so we're gonna we're gonna save scum if we have to to get this one. This is the good content we can't get on YouTube. Uh, yet, I registered a DigiDoggy VOD channel. Oh yeah, we had a lot of torso twists there. Uh oh, did I just lose the- Oh! Youch! Come on, get up! Get up! There we go. Oof, my gyro got spun for a loop here. This is gonna sound weird, and it is. You're a demon! No! No! Demon. Uh, really? really, I'm not! Oh, we're both in such bad shape, but I'm limping. Oh, we got her! Well, her boss isn't very sympathetic. Okay, I'm going to stop walking now and see what we can get away with in this mission, because the, the, the walking sound... Oh yeah, you know what we need to do now? We need to summon the mobile field base! We don't have to restart the mission. Oh, you're so used to MechWarrior Online and 5 lasers that it's weird to see the lasers being instant bursts. Yeah, it's weird for me that they're not anymore. This is way better. More accurate to real life lasers too. But we're summoning the mobile field base because we are in a state. Let's look at us limp. Oh yeah, that's that's from a YouTube poop. That's by Dothings. It's from Poopon the Third. Uh, wait, no, it's called Poopon the Thirst. My bad. But yeah, I I have a couple clips from YouTube poops that I like. Wouldn't the range limit of a real life laser be how much light dissipates at range? Yes, over the horizon, no problem. All right, so we're gonna wait a second here at this rendezvous coordinate. Coming up on four months since you found me, Meryl. Aw, awesome. 
Glad you could stick with us so far. Glad you joined us on that fun Metal Gear Solid 2 night. Alright, so what we're doing now is we're waiting for our buddies to come over here and help us out with the mobile field base. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have some popcorn and vibe because I made popcorn on the break and then I didn't get to have a single bite. So yeah, give me a second. Absolutely riveting, I know. Hey, didn't we have background music? What the heck? Something's amiss. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, it's Steel Battalion music. Cool. Yeah, so we, we literally are just waiting for our buddies, but they're showing up on the radar now. Somebody was RPing in a YouTube stream before. Oh, that that is advanced cringe. Oh, wait, shit. They might come under attack if they go that way. That might not be a good idea. Well, they seem to be getting away with it. Uh, I might have spoken too soon. Let's see. Yeah, what kind of RPing? Are we talking like warrior cats RP? Would you like to RP? Would you like to RP? Oh man, I can't do it. RP? I take out my lizard nice and slow. Do you wish to continue? Yes or no? Oh, that's that's like a 10 year old vine sauce Vinny bit at this point. That is old, old. Does this make the lizard scroll? I, I don't even know what he was saying there. Primary objective complete. Good old Vinny. Oh, those kids who like Sonic a bit too much. Oh yeah, I've seen, I've seen, there's like whole YouTube channels just about like, Sonic fanfiction. You accidentally pasted ERP text into a Team Fortress 2 trade server in 2012. Did you get banned? Ah yes, the ritual circle is formed. And none too soon there, mobile field base, because I am a mess. I always like to crouch down, even though you don't have to. I figure it makes it easier for the technicians. You panic close the game? Amazing. Well, that was loud. But now we have a fully healed mech and some resupplied ammo. Feels good, man. No more limping. Okay, so we already got the mobile field base to Op Point Charlie. Now we just need to destroy the facilities at Op Point Baker and Abel. We'll go to Baker first, because it's like right there. Ooh, look at that building. That's going to blow up so cheesy style. It's going to be fun. You'd laugh, but you've definitely had your share of posting accidental link to bad thing and now you're constantly paranoid about what you're posting. Yeah, I have a specific piece of muscle memory where after I paste any link, I press the dash button and then press control A and then press control X so that I see that I've cut the dash. It's my way of clearing my clipboard so that I can never have the fucky wucky. No accidentally leaking confidential data here. Unlike War Thunder. Well, that's not accidental. That that's that's intentional. So still not like War Thunder.
Man, I used to like War Thunder. But then I started going outside and touching grass on a regular basis. And suddenly War Thunder was not my thing. You sad you never saw that shit happen in War Game? Oh uh, yeah, War Game Airland Battle would totally be the kind of thing that would induce nerds to leak classified data. Why, why, what is going on here with that? I think I broke my soundtrack. You enjoy War Thunder? Well, here's the thing. I've played War Thunder since closed beta. And I just wanted a jet. I was in the tank beta too, like I was I was big into it. And I just wanted one damn jet. And I would play and play and play, and then I'd go away for a little bit. And I'd come back and I'd be like, alright, I'm like so I, I would come back and I'd be thinking like, okay, I'm only like two planes away from getting a jet. I'm so close. And then I'd come back and find that they had added six more planes in the tech tree between me and my jet. And I was like, you know what? Forget this. I'm gonna play a game that actually feels fun consistently for me. But I'm not trying to yuck anybody's yum. If you can still have fun with War Thunder, that's not just an accomplishment, it's great. Good for you. This building, however. Oh, it wants me to shoot that. That particular stanchion. Oh, it says Plaza Tower in the bottom left there, but I thought it said Pizza Tower. Pepino, no! You must leak five more classified military documents to have your jet. Yeah, basically. Look, you can't win internet arguments without a little online treason. Oh, sorry, Pepino. Wait, it's not Pepino's pizza tower. Pepino wants to destroy the pizza tower. He he'd be okay with this. Arma's messy as hell, but nothing else really scratches that itch. Yeah. Sorry, there's some weird flickering going on in my cockpit here. I need to- hold on. What the fuck? What? I- I live on the second story and there's like flickering outside my window. Oh! Oh, okay, I feel dumb. I feel dumb now. No, it was- it was- it was the tree. Normally they keep the tree a little more pruned and I kind of forgot that I have a tree right outside my window. I guess it's really windy. So the tree got blown like a lot more than it usually does. It was causing like flickering in front of my window like a person was like moving back and forth in front of it. Oh shit, it's the Steiner Scout Lance! Oh no! Atlas inbound! Oh no, we're not ready. Also, you know what's messed up? There's an Atlas mech in the intro to this game. The hundred ton skull skullhead boy of our dreams. You can't get an Atlas in this game. You can get it in the expansion, Pirate's Moon. But you can't get an Atlas in the base game. No, you can't. There's no Atlas in Mech Warrior 3. You can get an Annihilator. You can get a Daishi. But those are the only... No, you can't get an Assault. You cannot get an Atlas in base Mech Warrior 3. You can see one in the cutscene. But there are... you cannot pilot it. Oh, no Marauders in this one, Troublesome Tapper. This was right after the Unseen thing became an issue for Battletech. So there are no Unseens. That's why we have the Firefly instead of the Locust. Woo! Oh, hello. Oh, 1999, you're beautiful. Okay, we'll go back to Op Baker and break that other building a little more since it wasn't done yet. But yeah, Jade Wolf, I really wish I was wrong. Hey, why does this look better than Mech Assault? Because Mech 3 is just amazing. 
took out the pizza tower. I think you're thinking of the the multi of the uh, the Pirates Moon expansion there, Jade Wolf. You can get the Annihilator and you can get the Dire Wolf, which is also known as the Daishi. Oh, hello, Phoenix Griffin. How you doing tonight? How you been? Oh, thanks for the foxes. Well, we just beat this mission. Greetings, Phoenix Griffin. Greetings, Skeletor site. Wow, my throat is fucked. The forces to the north are stalled in their attempt to rendezvous with us. Gotta go to bed there? Alright, Skeletor, so thanks for keeping us company. Them. That's all we have for now. Hope you have a good rest and we'll see you tomorrow night for some Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops. Roll fly through sequence. That was a tough Your mission, but we got some really good salvage. Wait, we can bust their greenhouses? That, that sounds unethical. Also, Sensors thanks for the arrows, Ash. Oh, thanks for the bonks, Gundam Dan. Now we know what caused the destruction of the Black Hammer. Rewind to just before the destruction. Freeze. Oh, it's a it's a warship scale laser. Uh oh. Found in the lower valley. They're mounted on a simple tower platform. Here are your op points. Expect heavy mech resistance. Fixed emplacements cover these areas. Pain will move. Okay, in this mission is spicy. We'll stand by for orders. Mobile field base out. We have a really good chance to get a great mech here. If I'm playing through this entire game, you'll point out the mech that you captured. Sure, Jade Wolf, I'm gonna get as far as I can tonight. Oh right, we're between missions. I need to check what's going on with my with my BGM here. What the heck? What the heck? Oh you know what? We'll we'll put some of this on too. Why not? Yeah. We're gonna have to get creative with the soundtrack tonight, because there's only like two songs in this entire game. And they, like, almost never play. Hmm. Well, we could switch out our laser- No, we can't. I thought we had a clan one, but we don't yet. You know what? I think we're just gonna roll with it as it is. It seems like it's good enough. You feel like if you streamed Wolfenstein, you get striped? Why is that? I think I think Wolfenstein is kosher. Oh, hey, Solar Nintendo. Oh shit, the claw. Ah! Thanks for the claw, there, Solar Nativity. Okay, so I think we're gonna need to get ourselves an AMS installed here in the left torso. Do we have to take the AMS ammo? We don't! Oh, yes! Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're allowed to stream Wolfenstein. I don't think there's a problem there unless it would be the, uh, the soundtrack. We could switch out some hits, heat sinks. That would be useful. Let's see. Double heat sink in the legs. Oh, we have to get rid of all of our heat sinks if we're doing that. Wait, I thought I think we did. Oh right, there's one in the cockpit too. Okay, we'll put these in the legs, and then we'll hear that annoying heat alarm a lot less. Oh wait, we only have the one. Still, it's still better. We'll get more as we go. I 
I think we can I think we can say we're safely ready to go to the next mission now. Let's uh let's go ahead and boot her up. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. All systems nominal. Alright guys, let's get to it. Ever played Armia 2? Oh wow, I remember that one getting really bad reviews in the day, but I knew a few people that liked it. I I never played it myself though. Oh shit! Oh, we're in the city fight. This this part is hard. All right, here we go. Oh good, the music got got real too. Let's do it. So that guy is piloting a Black Hawk, which is an energy boat with just tons and tons of lasers. So we're gonna continue to back away from him. Sorry, I forgot we were still in briefing levels of loudness there. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna soften him up really good with lasers. I mean with uh with missiles and then give him some lasers. Missile launch detected. You must back up. Uh-oh. We're we're getting shot from multiple angles. Oh gunner, I'm coming, dude. Hold on. Oh yeah, you do have to lead your targets a little bit with the auto cannons here. Oh, that's good effect on target. Oh, he's dangerous up close. I should not have approached him like that. Oh yeah, all right. I really hope we can actually salvage that guy. That one's really good. Oh, thanks 2131 Sui Beyond. Ravens are fun. I wish the Raven was in this game. Oh yeah, for, for our mech warrior knowers here. What's your favorite mech? You're allowed to pick one per weight class if you can't pick just one. Also, this part looks really good for a 1999 game. Look at the city. Oh, Zero the Yodine. Good to see you. Welcome in. King Crab is a patrician's choice. That is a very good mech. I like that one a lot. I have hundreds of hours in a King Crab in MechWarrior Online. Nice, nice, nice taste. What is this guy doing over here jump jetting around? Silly. Still need to play more Battletech. Oh yeah, Bill said the science kid. You should, you should. Oh, you like the Unseen Warhammer 2C the best? That's a good one. Very anime. That one was designed by Studio Nue of Macross fame. Oh no, I pressed the wrong button! You don't know mechs, so Doggy's your favorite here tonight? Oh, you're too sweet. I want to hold on to some of this auto cannon ammo, but I also want to blow this guy's leg off because his buddy is rolling up. They don't deal too well with circle strafing, do they? Which Macross is best Macross? I've never been much of a Macross fan, or I don't know a lot about it, actually. Oh wait, what are you doing? Oh, that's Dominic! I almost shot Dominic in the leg. This is our buddy. We, we have a buddy. Hey, Dominic. Alright, so now we can see we actually have a... Uh, we have a sort of crude, rudimentary, uh, real-time control system here. Yeah, if we tell him... Yeah, we told him to stay with us. We'll have to get used to using that more on the fly later. Makuros. Yeah, it does have a good theme song. Yeah, Shadow Cat is a really cool mech. It's just a really cool design. The Hunchback was your first mech that you ever bought in MechWarrior Online, so you like it for that reason. Hell yeah. Hard to go wrong with that classic. Oh, this is too many turrets. All right, so we have an anti-missile system installed now, which means if I look directly at the missile, there's a pretty good chance that I can shoot it down. Not all of them, but at least some of them, which will help a lot. What are you getting up to back there, Dominic? I hear you.
Oh wow, there's two of them. Oh, that green, that green thing that Dominic is shooting, it's a Gauss rifle. They're really good. They're very powerful, but they have low ammo and high weight. So I won't be using it, but Dominic can keep using it, because if I remember right, he has infinite ammo. And I don't. Oh, excuse you? Look, have you not heard of personal space there? Oh, the Highlander is also a big mood? Hard to go wrong with big guy with jump jets. Oh, now it's our turn to be playing bumper cars. Oh, you know, I think he might actually be out of Gauss ammo, though. He stopped shooting it. Whoa, he just got something good. Dude, what did you do? You fucked him up royal. Oh, he finished legging him for me. Nice. The AI is actually pretty competent. Oh, notice how as I take damage, my HUD just turns to complete garbage. I can't make out anything now. Look, look at my radar. It's all fuzz. It's nothing. I think that's really cool. I wish future MechWarrior games had done that too. Oh, he got out. He managed to eject. Wow, what is hurting me so badly? Oh, it's a missile turret. You don't think any part of an Owens has enough armor to take a Gauss hit? I think you're right. That was not really a fair matchup. Then again, who cares about playing fair? It's clanners. You you spank the clanners with whatever you got. Just stand in the water a little bit. Uh-oh, what's shooting at me now? Targeting. Hey, Conkalop. How you doing tonight? How you been? Just keep running and hope not to get hit. My big problem is that there's an Orion heavy mech approaching us quickly now. And we will not have the option of running away from that. Oh, you're doing good? Glad to hear it. Oh, Dominic is carrying his weight tonight. He's doing really good. Hit and run is a good tactic for the Owens. Oh, you're right. Large mech approaching very fast. Warning! Warning! A huge battle mech! Orion is approaching fast! Stone Rhino. Oh yeah, they're adding that to Mech Warrior Online soon. Oh, there's a missile turret. This is the largest amount of viewers you've ever seen this game have. Hey, Joe's Mef14. Good to see you. Welcome in, new faces. Hope you're having a good Old evening. Mech. Warning. Warning. Yeah, I, I I love Mech Warrior 3. I'm glad to give it some love. It deserves more attention. But it's so hard to get it running that I don't blame people for not streaming it. Oh, that's a lot. Oh boy. I'm in danger. Thank you for the extra ram there, Phoenix Griffin. I'm gonna need it. Oh, and thank you for the head pats, Phoenix Griffin. Okay, I did not mean to be using the missiles against him. What we want to do now is leg this. We want to leg this. Oh yeah, something really bad is about to happen. You're right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have trouble against this guy. We may end up having to redo the mission. In fact, I lost my AC10, which is bad. Oh, thanks for hypno space mode. Flush that coolant. Oh yeah, we're just gonna circle strafe our way to victory. He doesn't have very good uh, agility. Break his legs, you know it. Oh oh, his pathfinding is is messed up. He can't get me right here. We're, like, right in the spot where he doesn't know what to do. Get him! Steal his kneecaps! I'm from the Digidoggy Mafia, and I'm here to tell you, go to bed! Secondary objective complete. <sighs> yes! Alright, that's really good. 
sometimes I have to blow that guy up straight up to get through the mission in one piece. What was our remaining objectives? Oh, we just have to destroy the power station and the, the structures. We can do that. That's fun. Never sleep. Leg damaged. Reverse disabled. Stay up and watch Digidoggy. Yeah, sleep is for the weak. Oh, you, you had- I'm sorry, I missed that. What was that about another character quoting the Darius line? I love Darius. Okay, op point Baker is right here, and we just destroy the power station. Is that the power station? That looks powery. What is sleep? I don't know. I haven't gotten any in the past couple days. Oh, that's definitely the power station. Anybody like Star Blazers? I don't think I've heard of that one. Cool name, though. You know, I get the feeling that I maybe should back away from this thing a little bit. It looks like it might be the kind of thing that explodes very violently. I also really appreciate that Duncan is programmed to shoot it right in the exact middle. Oh, Space Battleship Yamado. That's another one that I really should check out. That one looks so cool. Yeah, let's just take a bath. It'll help us stay cooler. What is sleep? A miserable little pile of secrets. I mean, you could make that argument. What happened? Where do all those dreams go? What, are, what happens to all those dreams I can't remember? I dream of so many electric sheep. Okay, op point baker objective is done. Yeah, we lost an autocannon 10, which does really suck. <laughs> Imagine being in that building. I, I sure hope not. It was just a power station. Oh. Little little infantry guy. Ooh, a radioactive sign. More like a bullseye. Wow, I didn't expect that to be super effective like that. That was pretty satisfying. Primary objective complete. Well, it's not our nuclear fallout problem. We're leaving this planet once we kill these guys. You've been watching Go Nagai's X Bomber, aka Starfleet. Oh, Gona Guy is really cool. I haven't heard of that one, though. They have all these mechs that somehow got destroyed by, like, one mech. Yeah, skill issue. Skill issue. Oh, we just have to go beat the battle mech factory up now, and we're good. We're done with this mission. Oh, I like that emote. That's cute. Oh, thanks for watering our little stream pet, Cried. Oh, I remember the Battle Mech Factory in this mission, because it's really funny. The way that a Battle Mech Factory is depicted in this game is just straight up hilarious to me. We'll see it when we see it. I don't think we get to see inside this one, but later we go inside a battle mech factory and it's very goofy. So that, that must be the factory, this tiny little building with the smokestacks. Somehow builds battle mechs. Wait, maybe it isn't. Oh wait, no, Dominic is shooting it. That's a good sign. Not my nuclear fallout problem. That is the mech warrior way. That's right. I'll be off on some other rock. Small baby mechs. Oh, maybe it makes elementals. Oh, Phoenix Griffin. You got a gift sub. Thank you, Ash Greytree. That's so kind of you. I'm dancing in my cockpit. 
Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the support, Ash Gray Tree. Alright, mission successful, and we got a Shadow Cat and a Gauss Rifle, and I sure hope we got a bunch of other stuff, too. Before we move out, you'll have to decide on salvage. Meanwhile, we've intercepted a private channel between Star Colonel Ratosh Osis and his aide. Stand by for Ratosh Osis, remember that name. The entire facility. Without those greenhouses, we'll be hard-pressed to feed the incoming forces. You warned him about placing the site so near our hydroponics project. Ath, I did. But will Brendan Corbett take the place? Hey, wait a minute. Why do the greenhouses have radioactive symbols on there? Osis' death on Strana Mecti, the galaxy commander will be our next con. He can do no wrong. Exactly. I will make these Surats pay for this. Yeah, that AC-10 won't be too much of a loss. Lincoln Osis, Ilkhan of the clans, died on Strana Mecti. The Star League must be victorious. <gasps> But I don't expect we'll be relieved anytime soon. So you guys, you heard, you remember how I was saying when we got started out that the rest of the Inner Sphere is off on the, uh, Smoke Jaguar homeworlds fighting them and, uh, basically saying, like, stop invading our shit? Sounds like we just won. The Lancet Commando 3 has not been heard from. Commando Team 2 took out the hydroelectric dam and drained the lake before we lost all contact with them. A support operative... Moonstorm 3D, thank you so much for six months of subscription. Wow, I can't believe it's already been six months. That is so kind of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And greetings to you too, Moonstorm 3D. I really appreciate your support. Okay. The real mech factory. So that was a fake. It was too tiny to be anything else. Alright, guys. We do have to go to break real quick. Yep. We'll be back, and when we get back, we'll watch the briefing, and we'll go into the next mission. But in the meantime, grab yourself a snack. Grab yourself a drink. Get yourself a little coolant flush. And before you know it, we'll be back with DigiDoggy having some more fun. See you soon, everybody.
Welcome back, everybody. I'm DigiDoggy, your favorite dog-shaped robot quirky girl, and we're still having some fun with MechWarrior 3 tonight. Thanks for sticking with me during the break, everybody. Hope you had a good one. I know mine was. Alright, so I've been chomping popcorn, my reactor is fully refueled, and I am ready for some more Battle Meg action. Alright, alright, alright. Thanks for sticking with me, everybody. Let's go ahead and get my cockpit back. And get this cute Will Rogers art taken care of here. And we're going to watch that briefing that we were leaving off on, because I didn't catch that, and I'm sure you guys didn't either. Oh, Stoat Stampede, thank you for the head pats. All right, we'll get rid of the music for a second here, and we'll make our mechs nice and loud. Wait, we didn't get the video. I want the video. There we go. Mech doggy is best. Thank you, Moonstorm 3D. I really like the skin too. Commando Team Two took out the hydroelectric dam and drained the lake before we lost all contact with them. A support operative from Team Two discovered a previously unknown underground site here. A previously unknown underground site. Okay, we have to get to the underground facility. This is a long one. All right, so we're we're gonna we're gonna spend some time in this mission. That's for sure. Yep, that that's fine. Oh yeah, I remember this island. The flyby doesn't give us any more information. The lake is completely drained now that the dam has been destroyed. You know, it's really cool that they made this flyover video using a special version of the map that had water. And now the water is gone. That's a lot of extra effort. That's really cool. They really didn't have to do that. Okay, time to go check out our spoils of war. We got a Blackhawk, very nice, and a Firefly, which we couldn't really care less about, but whatever. Oh, an LB-10X AC, that's basically a mech-sized giant shotgun. Got some cases, got some armor that we're not going to grab, because who cares? Get some jump jets and some C3 targeting computers. All right. Now we'll go in the mech lab and have a little fun outfitting this new one. The Blackhawk is okay, but I think what we want to do with this one is strip all the delicious heat sinks out of it so we can have those. Oh baby, that's going to keep us nice and cool. And then switch into the bushy. Oh wait, I, I think I screwed up. Let's see. Yep, it all took him back in there. Oh, time to get down! I think the mechs are a little bit too big to get down with me. My neck. What have you done? Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you for that wonderful wombo combo there. Oh, hi, Jimmy McThickus. How you doing? How you been? Greetings. Greetings to you too, Jimmy. All right, so we are in the middle of customizing our mech. We are getting ready to embark on a, a big journey into a dangerous mission. So I hope you're ready. How you doing tonight? How you been? 
It's Friday Eve? That's certainly one way to think about Thursday. I like that. That that's 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 the spirit. Alright, so we're gonna put our LRMs back on here. And we're gonna give ourselves a couple of tons of ammo. One, two. And we're going to make sure that we have these cellular ammunition storage equipment here. So that if our ammo gets blown up, we don't go with it. Oh, you're back? You were charging your phone while listening to a song. Cool. Glad you could rejoin us. Alright, so we put double, sink double heat sinks in the legs so that we don't roast alive. Eight more Gidons worth of points? Oh, you've been saving up. Very nice. Okay, center torso has the laser, but I think I want that in the arm. Well, no, it can stay there. That's probably a safer spot for it. Oh, thanks for the head pats, Troublesome Taffer. Oh, right, we can have some more ammo. Yes, very good. And we'll give ourselves some more armor. Maybe a little less on the legs. And more on the body. Oh, oh, we can't do that. We actually are maxed out. So we have to give it everywhere else. Well, that'll keep our arms in a lot better condition. But now we're in a situation where maybe I don't need that much armor. Yeah, that's better. Hey, Kelvin Shadewing, how you doing? How you been? I don't think I can actually think of a better use. We might as well just max out the armor. Hey, Mr. Cool VT, glad you could join us tonight. I like your channel setup, by the way. I checked you out. You look really cool. No pun intended. Glad you could join us, though. Hope you've been doing well. Yeah, I think that's about as good as it's going to get for the armor here. Just max out the leggies. There we go. Alright, and oh, last thing. Gotta make sure. Yep, we almost had laser problems again. There we go. Let's launch that mission. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Yeah, no worries there, Mr. Cool VT. Glad you could join us. Oh, this mission is pretty. I like the I like the landscape here. This is very like 90s 3D game. Quite the mess. Off? Gonna watch the Half-Life bot and get sleepy. Oh, watch out. I, I I sure have an interesting experience with that one. It was quite the scuff stream. Thanks for joining us, Ash. You get a good rest, and we'll see you when we see ya. Oh, here comes Hovercraft. Snitch. Oh, thanks for the birds, Gundam fan. Maybe I should have put a medium laser or something in. Oh, you know what I forgot is my anti-missile systems. That's less than ideal. We'll put it back in after this mission. No big deal. Whoa! Sick trick, guys! Impressive collision. Oh, Oliver the Knight with the gift subs! Thank you! Whoa, the Punisher MHN, you got that gift sub. Excellent! Thank you, thank you, thank you for your support there, Oliver. I really, really appreciate that. Oh yeah, these tanks are especially fast because they're hover tanks. Well, except for that bulldog. That was, that was normal. Oh, you played this game before? Nice. I, I really like this one. Oh, you never got good at it. It, it does it does have a bit of a learning curve. Also, it looks like my, my head pats are stuck again, so I'm gonna have to, uh... My spine is busted and the head pats are eternal. We'll fix this. Wow, I am really busted. Oh, 
Okay, we'll see if we can fix it. Yeah, there's like something wrong. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Let me, let me just... Wow, I am super broken. Oh wow, my neck is like detached. You guys bullied me so much earlier that I am straight up dead. Okay, let's see if uh, maybe we can simply... Can we fix this on the fly? Please say yes. I'm, I'm gonna say a color swap. Yeah, there we go. Okay, awesome. I didn't have to restart. Yeah, you guys ripped a hole in my neck. That was that was an impressive use of force. That Moai, that Moai really got me good. Alright, let's see. Back to the business at hand. Holy moly. Oh, you went there. Oh hey Viper Chan. The head pads belong to me. Nowhere what? No, they belong to me. Nowhere to hide, oh whoa. Oh whoa? Ooh woo. Tally, clumping bandit. Wait, wait, no clump! No clump! No clump! No clump! Oh, Viper Chan. When is he gonna learn? Oh, slippery in here. Yeah, I guess it is. It's all muddy. Uh oh. That, that's a lot of incoming. Okay. Send it. Gotta make sure that I lead just a little bit with these, because these the light mechs are so small. His shoulders, his missile pods are just eating all the damage. That's no, no good. We gotta get up close and personal. There we go. Also, I really like the sound that makes when it comes in and out. Like, it's really good. Why does MechWarrior have such good designs? Uh, it's just because it has a lot of designs. There's some really, really scrunkly looking mechs that just don't make it into the video games usually. But yeah, a lot of them are really good look. During the early days, they really weren't afraid to wear their anime inspiration on their sleeve, too. You added salt and pepper, garlic powder, and cumin. And you have your favorite egg salad ever? Ooh. Sounds pretty good. Poor Polly Pelican looking mechs. Some of them are definitely a little bit scrumbly. No missile launched. Hey, oh wait, there's an elemental somewhere nearby on our radar. But we got it. We got to deal with this battle mech first. Targeting. So this guy just rolled up from the rear like he's not ready to get swept. Let's see. Get a good, nice angle on his weirdly symmetrical body. I can't figure out which way is the front and the back at first sometimes. Oh, so Wing and a miss. Kind of hard to aim sometimes with the uh, the zoom. There we go. He obliged us by just chilling. Okay, so elementals. We were talking about elementals earlier. The little genetically engineered guys in suits. Well, here they are. What's with these guys? <laughs> What's with these guys? It is! Look at them! There they come, in their little power suits. Getting completely fragged by a mech that's three times as tall. But they, that is a pretty cool design. And their origin story is basically Spartans from Halo before Halo was a thing. Oh, he's Jibs. Poor guy. Oh my god, Dominic Payne making jokes about his own name. Oh, you spent hours last night configuring Plex requests? What the f- Did we just step in a mine? 
What the hell is with that crater? That little mech was so fat. Oh, you mean, do you mean the elemental? They are kind of chumbly looking in this game. Oh, good job, Dominic. I was trying to leg him, though. We're definitely not salvaging that scrap heap. I don't know what I stepped on before. I think there's mines. These are mines. There's like sea mines in the bottom of this dried lake bed. Holy shit, what the fuck is that? What is that super double ultra loud sound? What the- Oh, it's the dropship taking off. Damn. They, they really got a fierce sound for that. Oh man, there's a lot of enemies and, and weapons and placements here. I'm gonna have to be super careful. Ooh, ooh, there he is. That's the head honcho right there. We need we need to deal with him immediately. Dominic, no! Get out of there, Dominic! Oh man, we gotta get on his tail, quick, quick. Also, I can't believe we didn't salvage that Orion in the previous mission. That's bogus. We did such a good job hurting him, too. All right, I better salvage that. Dominic, don't you die to your own clone. Get him in the hip! Get him in the hip! Oh no, we're out of ammo! Yeah, the mechs do move really well in this game. They have really great inverse kinematics on their legs. And the animations look fantastic. I really, I really like this one. I'm glad you noticed, Jimmy. Oh, you like the cute limping? That was a lot more than one shot there, Dominic. But you know what? I appreciate your, your bravado all the same. Let's see. Destroy the fixed emplacements. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. Yeah. For a battle mech fight. Okay, we just have to mop up the fixed emplacements and I think we got the worst of the enemies in this level. Some spicy skeletal animations. Yeah, can you believe this only came out a year after Half-Life 1 too? This was before Deus Ex came out. Uh-oh, he saw me. Yeah, those mines are a big problem. I'm glad that I started noticing them. There's more fixed emplacements, but I don't see them. Oh yeah, the animations really slap. Oh yeah, we lost an arm again. How? That's another auto cannon ten that we've lost. That's that's actually really bad. I don't know if I have any spares. Oh, we just have to escort the field base to Baker. Yep, now we're good to go. I forgot, we have to tell the mobile field base to go to the mission objective sometimes. They don't just automatically go, cause like, what if it's full of enemies and the stupid AI just bumbles into it? Oh, speaking of which, that... That was two mines that I just almost stepped on and Dominic is going right for them! Dominic, no! Oh my god. Oh, look at him go! Oh, Dominic! Oh, Dominic! Are you good, buddy? I know you said it was slippery here, but like, damn, bro. Do a kickflip. Bro is making an, making a half pipe out of this thing. Is he taking damage? I My HUD is too messed up for me to tell. Dominic, I swear to God. Oh, wow. That... 
That is a really impressive demonstration of the inverse kinematics on those legs, though. Look at that. I have never seen this game do this before. Man, that... He's got the schmooze. It looks like he gets so close to getting out sometimes, and then he just doesn't quite make it. Oh, he's using the hover tanks as roller skates. Of course. What's the point of a mech if you can't do sick tricks? Man, look at, look at how smoothly it handles that, too. Even when it is absolutely losing its shit, the legs still stay more or less sane. I wonder if we can lure him out by simply moving away. Oh, he's very stuck, Grachnork. He he can't get out of there. He he's having some trouble. Oh, oh, that oh! Ah! Oh, this might have been a mistake. No, he is unstuck, but at what cost? Ah! Okay, we got free. We have arrived and are ready to deploy. <laughs> we have arrived and are ready to deploy. Yeah, that was that was pretty good. G mod physics noises. Yeah, we saved him. Hope we can salvage this one. That would be really nice. Mission successful. Mission successful. Well, we'll still we'll still heal up here while we can. I won't lie, this is definitely me when I enter an energy potential well. Oh, thanks for the hi there, Phoenix Griffin. Yep, yeah, still no arm. There are limits to what they can do in the field, but... Oh wow, Dominic was nothing. There was nothing left of him. His mech is, is just a stick. Look at that. Pitiful. Oh, but we did. We did salvage the Thor. Oh, yeah. Get stick bug, idiot. Thors are nice. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Oh, I'm good at this game? Thank you. I, I didn't really think I was, but I appreciate it. Underground mission. Oh, this don't release the spicy gas. How do we get shots in here? How do we get shots at the underground base? Oh, he explained it. Wait, he, his execution? The living quarters oh, no. Site. Is off the air, a oh, this is the mission you're thinking of? I don't think there's an atlas here. You might be thinking of the Avatar. Okay, time to get rid of the Firefly. Get out of here. Your great-grandpa would get flashbacks if he heard about spicy gas. Oh, no. Annihilator, yeah. That's the 100 tonner. Or wait, it's a 95 tonner, if I remember right. But that's the biggest one in this game. The Atlas is not in the base version, only in the expansion. Alright, we're gonna keep that, and we're gonna get rid of the Owens, because forget the Owens. And we're gonna get rid of the. No. I said get rid of the Owens, and save ourselves another Shadow Cat. I guess one Owens can come along, too. Yeah, the Atlas is so epic. It's true. Okay. I Wow, I did not need that. Oopsie doodle. Hmm. 
Wow, look at all this crap we're holding on to already. We're gonna have to get rid of some of this. Yeah, that, that, that is 60 tons of armor. We don't need that. We will take all of this, though. Double heat sinks? Don't mind if I do. Artemis 4 fire control system? Oh, baby, you know it. Annihilator hits its head sometimes. Oh yeah, the Atlas and the Annihilator are both kind of goofy looking mechs, if I'm being honest. Uh, let's see. We're going to sacrifice just a little bit of armor here so that we can have an AMS. And that will help us immensely versus missile spam. Oh, we managed to keep our AC-10 running too. That That's very good. Now... We don't actually need the bushwhacker anymore, though. Because we're going to switch over, so maybe... Let's see what's on the Thor. Oh, the Thor got rocked so hard that it doesn't really have weapons anymore. Well, that's okay. It's a great place to start. Let's see, left torso is going to get ourselves an LRM-10. And we're going to get some ammo for it. Two ammos. We saw this video the other day. Can we bring back this UI design for games, please? I know, right? Isn't this so satisfying? Let's see. I want the right arm to have it. Wait, no. We want the center torso to have that, like our bushy. Because it makes it super, super hard to kill. Play on ER large laser. Well, then again, we can store two of these. Yeah. And then we can have in the right arm ourselves a nice little LB-10X AC for a big shotgun action. Wait, do we have enough food? Oh, yeah, we do. Okay. Oh, wait, no, we don't. Okay, we're gonna- we're just seeing if we can fit everything that we want to fit here. Mm, AC-10 weighs more. Maybe if we were to- oh yeah, we have jump jets that I don't want. Yeah, we can- we can just barely fit. Perfect! There we go. So now we have the same loadout basically as our previous mech, but with an additional laser that's going to make life a lot easier. And some more armor. Oh, let's make sure that Dominic is rocking something a little better though. Yeah, that's a funny loadout. Sure, why the hell not? Okay, we're good to go. New cockpit. And we gave Dominic the uh, the Black Hawk that we took, so we get to see that a little bit. Oh, oh boy, we're under immediate attack. Oh yeah, the zoom on the uh, the clan Max is a little nicer too. Oh, it is so over for you, buddy. Yep, time for laser spam. Targeting. 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 Targeting, 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 targeting. targeting. Please target the one that I want. Thank you. There targeting. we go. Now we can just cheese forever. Oh wait, no way. I got to restart this mission. That was that was not a good start. Just gets blasted super hard immediately. Oh, what? It doesn't keep it? Oh, no, it's fine. Hey, Will Rogers. Good to see ya. How you doing? How you been? We're having some fun with MechWarrior 3. There we go. Now we're in a better position for this. Oh, 
Oh, he's got a big auto cannon. That's what was doing it. Too bad for him. We have a meta mech. Wait, who's shooting our friends in the back? Oh, that's a shadow cat. Dude. Targeting. 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 Dominic, are you Targeting. stupid? Come on. Targeting, targeting, targeting. Yeah, the Atlas does look a bit du derpy, even though they wanted it to look intimidating. I I don't know how much skeleton face man is actually a scary mech design. Milkman the rat? Do Minecraft tomorrow? Eh, not really my bag, but nice suggestion. Glad you could join us, though. There we go. Man, we took a lot of damage, though. Oh, fuck. That's not good. Oh, Milkman the Rat, thanks for the follow. Wait, why is my gizmo still showing? That's, that's silly. Oh, man, we're gonna have to restart this one. I, I beefed it again. I was not paying attention to our rear quarter. Look at how dead I was. Objective points are set at the transport bay, the living quarters, and at the factory site. Atlas looks like something out of Warhammer, and you don't know if you mean that in a good way or a bad way. Uh, yeah, honestly, yeah. Okay, we're gonna make sure that Dominic engages that Shadow Cat immediately. And we'll give this guy some of his own medicine. Sickle fire engaged. Group fire engaged. Oh, that's spicy. You think Milkman is a troll? I'm not too worried about it. As long as people follow the rules, I don't mind if people are a little spicy here and there. Twitch does have animated emotes. That's right, Will. Oh good, we staggered him. I'm living in a box. Living in a cardboard box. Yeah, we're gonna have to circle strafe our way to victory here. Oh, thank you for the head pots, Kelvin Shadewing. Wait, did he just kill Dominic? Oh no, Dominic just got knocked down. Okay. Oh, the Ultra Ball. Gonna have to try harder than that to catch me. Damn, this is a spicy way to start this mission. I am in really bad shape already. I may have to... Why? Wait, no. We have we have the power. We have the power to heal. As long as I didn't lose any limbs. I keep forgetting the MFBs are our way through something difficult like this. I'm so used to having to save scum like in Deus Ex. Oh, Dominic, you lost six lasers with that one arm. Ah, I will construct some more pylons. Thanks for the suggestion. Okay, stand on the dot. Oh, I just wanted to break the, 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 the animation. Oh, thanks for that Klonoa there, Will Rogers. You know what's really weird is this thing keeps setting my mech warrior volume to be lower. I never asked for that. Breaking off. Waiting for rendezvous coordinates. Roger that Maximator. Transferring now. Transferring now. What? 
transmitter transferring now. Breaking off. Waiting for rendezvous coordinates. Roger that, Lance Leader. Transferring now. Sorry about that. Thanks for letting me know there, SuperNAC64. Yeah, like I was saying, I, I don't have any current plans to play Diablo 3. But I will keep the suggestion Wait, under advisement. Roger that, Lance Leader. Transferring now. Waiting for rendezvous coordinates. Roger that, Lance Okay, I'm sending them back to the, where they were. Download more RAM? Oh, thank you, Phoenix Griffin. Let's see, there's definitely guys around that corner. I'm a little scared. Big scary tank with an auto cannon. Got him. Yep, we're just gonna leave. We're gonna go heal before those guys come and find us. Oh wait, should we blow this up? That, that looks important. Oh yeah, the picture in picture is super satisfying. I really like it. I don't even know how they accomplished it using the technology of the time, but it's way cool. Uh-oh, we're limping. We got shot in the butt. Watch Family Guy. You're 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 quite the jokester, aren't you? Yeah, you know what? I don't want to limp my way around like this. This this sucks. If those MFBs haven't started up their, their little repair party for me, I'll just restart the mission. Maybe we need more lasers. Maybe the solution is just getting all the alpha damage. God, look at me waddle. Looks like it's got a poop in its pants and it's trying to get to the toilet. So what I'm seeing here is that the mission was glitched out anyway. I think it looks like the MFBs aren't moving. Remember kids, if it sucks, hit the bricks. Thanks to Share Zone. Such a such a wise soul. Eh, close enough, right? Evidently not. I think we broke them, you guys. Yeah, I told them to move a couple times, and yeah, I think I think they're just busted. Forget it, we'll just replay the mission, it's no sweat. Sometimes I say things and I get reminded that, that this isn't a kid's stream. Yeah. Computer over? Virus equals very yes! That's not a good prize. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I don't like to keep re redoing the mission, but also, like, that was, that was rough. Okay, Dominic. Go to your doom. Okay, we just gotta be super fierce. Not give her even a second to deal with us. Do it until I get it done. You got it, Oliver. What year did this come out? In 1999. Whoa, shit. We cracked our canopy. 
You see that? The cockpit is broken. Now that is super cool. Even modern mech warrior games don't do that. Oh yes, that's our that's our chance. We're gonna pop his legs super efficiently. There we go, yeah. Yeah, it does look really nice, doesn't it, Jimmy? I, I feel like this one looks better than Mech Warrior 4, which came out in 2001. It really had the vibe. Like a premium Hitachi store, it was good vibes only. Sorry, that was bad. There we go. Wait, how did he already leg me? What the fuck? And no, I don't think the cockpit glass can fully break, although that would be so cool. Alright, the MFB should work this time. I'm gonna waddle back over here and get a quick suck on our thumb. See, in Halo, they have regenerating health, but... If it breaks, you die. Yeah, the leg. I mean, if it gets any more damaged, I do just die. Oh, thanks for the glitch mode. Who did that for me? I didn't even notice. I didn't even tell me who. Mystery glitch. Wait, am I just stuck in glitch mode? How long has it been like that? Your mech is fixed. Moving out. I don't really feel like fixing it right now. We'll, we'll just live with it. It's, it's thematically appropriate. But yeah, even when you heal up, you still have a, a crack on your cockpit glass to remind you how close you came to being dead. Oh, it's just the video feed? Of course. Definitely. Oh, thanks for the wiggle there, Stoat Stampede. Ooh, and a monochrome moan from Jimmy Jimmy McVickis. Mech power up detected. Mech power up detected. Whoa, what was what was he shooting at? Oh, time to go to Hypnospace. Courtesy of Jimmy, thank you. Man, it's, it's a good thing that we have this little zoom, because it sure would be hard to see some of the tanks like this. Oh wait, isn't there a spotlight button in this game? Hold on, I want to look in the options. I want to see the controls. Oh, what? You can look around. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I guess- I guess not. I thought there was a spotlight. Oh well. You can look around the cockpit, though. Hit all the buttons. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, look! You can look up and down in the cockpit and really see that it's a 3D model and not just a texture or anything like that. That's pretty cool. One of the mottos is save the meat- or sorry, kill the meat, save the metal. Yep, that is true, Moonstorm. What all games do you play? Me? Me in particular? Uh, well, I like a lot of retro games. I play bunches and bunches of old console games. Uh, I like a lot of FPSs and classic immersive simulators and stuff like that. Uh, you know, plenty of platformers and action titles and stuff. Uh, Super Nintendo, PlayStation, N64, PlayStation 2. Metal Gear Solid stuff, you know, that's always fun. Mega Man is a big hit on the on the channel usually. Uh, Sonic, but only older Sonic, cause, cause I'm a boomer, I guess. Oh, this guy is meat. That guy was nothing. Dr. Wowie. You think it's a 2D painting just stretched around like Wolfenstein? It's definitely a 2D painting stretched uh, on the model, but. I'm pretty sure it's like actually there's there's level geometry here. 
Oh wow, I, di I didn't mean to scowl though. But yeah, look, there's a uh, like you can you can look all around and it's 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 for reals. I mean, it's not very complicated, but it, it's it's definitely you know a physical shape. A little bit disorienting. Mario, yeah, I play some Mario here and there. Yeah, this ain't no id tech one or two, that's for sure. Unfortunately, the source code for this game has been lost for a long time. Such a bummer. It would be really cool to see what the community could do with mods and stuff. We'll get a VR mod going. Oliver, if that was possible, that would be so cool. Unfortunately, I don't think that's possible. <laughs> this is a Klonoa household? It is now! A digidoggy with a mech emote? You're not sure if there would be enough space to draw it. Yeah, that would be hard to convey, but it would be cute, wouldn't it? Open source MechWarrior 3? Yeah, unfortunately the company that made this, Microprose, went bankrupt and... All of the people that might have had the code for it have long since lost it. There's a couple of mods, that's true. There's the weapons mod by Freako. I've actually uh, beaten the game with that mod, it's really good. But I wanted to play vanilla at first before we got into something crazy like that. I can't believe that MechWarrior itself is lost tech? You're so right! No system new enough to run VR can run MechWarrior 3 stable? Hey Stoat Stampede, I'm gonna reveal something now. This is running on my system. This is not PCM. We were we were trying to get this to run using PCM, but I found that I can just run it natively on my system with the 13th generation i9 and the RTX 4080. It just runs. It runs fine. Isn't that incredible? The only reason I'm not just running it completely unmodified is because it can't do windowed mode, so it wouldn't be good for streaming like that. But the only reason I need to use a voodoo wrapper is so I can get it to be in a window. It just works. Yeah, I know! Isn't that crazy? It was so fussy on Windows 10, but it just works fine. I had to use Riva Tuner and DG Voodoo to get it to run for the stream. But when I just want to play it myself? Yeah. Oh yeah, Jimmy, Unreal Tournament 2004 does work on Windows 10. I actually have some friends that play it every Thursday night. They're playing it right now, as far as I know. Yeah, UT2K4 is really fun. Maybe I'll join that server and play it live sometime. Would you guys be interested in watching me play multiplayer games? I've only ever played single player games on stream and it occurs to me that I don't know like if you guys would be interested. Oh, Unreal OG runs on Windows 10? That's great! Oh, you would be interested in seeing me play some some multiplayer games. Okay. I, I was no sh I was no sure. I, I, I know have language. Wait, they're trying to- they're trying to let loose the gas? No, you can't let loose the juice. We'll all die. Do I miss the old Kanye? No one doggy should have all that power. Yeah, I don't want to make a habit of being mostly a multiplayer game streamer, but I do like me some Super Animal Royale and I've been thinking about playing that a little too. Hey, you have a bigger target to worry about. Don't worry about blowing up the gas. Targeting. Worry about blowing up my ass. Oh, we are in so much trouble. That guy's got SRMs. Oh yes, stay falling. Let me get off a couple more hits. You got it, Dominic. Be my- be my- my tank while I take care of this. Just- just kite him a little longer. Come on, there we go. Oh, you haven't touched Super Animal Royale in a hot minute? Yeah, it's- it's a good one. I like it. I'm super close to unlocking the Super Possum. 
so I kind of want to finish unlocking that soon. Oh yeah, we're gonna bring the MFBs over here. MFB stands for motherfucking bitch. Sorry, I couldn't I couldn't resist that. That was low hanging fruit there. This is cool. Oh, the commander's mad that he didn't get his caustic gas released everywhere. Completely 100% necessary to do. Hey, Lupus Draconis. Good to see you tonight. How you doing? How you been? Oh, you're still worried about- you're still wondering about the community game night. Yeah, Dasaki V, I've been meaning to play that. I, uh, have not had a chance to set it up, but we are going to be playing SRB2 Cart. Yeah. Another tired day, but you managed to make it work. Oh, same, Lupus. I got like four hours of sleep last night, but I'm glad you could stop by. We're having a lot of fun with Mech Warrior 3. I'm waiting for our MFBs to show up. Why have I been sleeping so bad? Um, it's embarrassing. I was up late last night making sure that this game would run well for the stream. Because I've had a very busy workday schedule, and not as much time to set things up before the stream in the daytime. And it was being a real butt, so time got away from me. Do I like One Piece or Demon Slayer? Um, I haven't seen a lot of those. I've seen a bit of One Piece, but I haven't really kept up with either of them. Freya, please take care of yourself. Yeah, I'll do my best, Lupus. I, I I have I know I've been bad. I should I should take better care of myself. But this weekend I have a lot going on, so I wanted to make sure that I could still hang out with everybody on stream this week. Because I won't be able to stream on Saturday and Sunday. So, you know, just kind of packing things in there where I can fit them into the schedule. I really wish I could put, like, turbo boosters on the MFBs or something, though. Do I like Gundam? Some Gundam, yeah. I think I like 08th MS Team was my favorite Gundam series. Although, the ending was doo-doo. Oh, you're gonna go crash? Hey, thanks for stopping in tonight, Oliver. Hope you had a good one. Always good to see ya. You stay safe, and we'll see you tomorrow for some... Metal Gear Solid. Portable Ops. Oh, you feel the same about Zero Eight? Yeah, it's like, it's this anime where it's all about, like, war is hell. Everything sucks. Don't go to war. It's not good. There's no glory. Things are bad, and you should avoid warfare. And then it ends with, like, and then they fell in love, and everybody was happy forever. The end. And it's like, that, that seems wrong. That's not totally correct with the rest of the series. Oh, zero, 86, 80, I don't know, 86, I, I, Gundam series names are difficult like that. Oh, snap, it's already break time again. Yeah, Iron-Blooded Orphans, I've heard a lot of good things about it. All right. They're finished with their repairs. We gotta go to break real quick, but we'll be back in five minutes with more Mech Warrior 3 and more DigiDoggy. I'll see you real soon, everybody. Grab yourself a snack, grab yourself a drink, have a nice little coolant flush, and before you know it, we'll be back having some more fun together. See you soon, everybody.
Welcome back, everybody. Hope you guys had a good break. Whoops. All right, let's try that again. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you guys had a good break. I'm DigiDoggy, your favorite dog-shaped robot corgi girl, and tonight we are playing some Mech Warrior 3. Been having a lot of fun with it so far. We're down underground in the secret battle mech factory slash corrosive gas storage facility? Question mark. Anyway. Hope you guys had a nice break. We're gonna hop right back in with some more gameplay because I'm excited to uh, to smash some clanners. All right, got my cockpit ready, got my mech. Let's get to it. Thanks for keeping us company during the break. Oh, Earth Siege 2 runs native in Windows 10 as well. Ooh, that's exciting. I never got to play that one when it was newer. It wouldn't even run right on my much older computer that was like, Contemporary for it at the time. Oh, oh, hold on. Sorry, had to get properly situated in my cockpit here. I was, I was a little bit not where I needed to be. Oh yeah, I have a friend that's really into Earth Siege 2 that was telling me about it and showing me some gameplay. It's really cool how you can like look down at a different screen and like control your mech's buttons and and like secondary monitors and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. I have not really seen a lot of, of uh, mech simulators try to do that. Oh boy, this looks questionable. Well, welcome to the elevator. Oh, this... Am I done yet? Really? This seems wrong. Oh, hey Van the Trash Puppy. Thank you for the head pads. Woof woof, huh? Right back at ya. Oh yeah, we left some stuff behind. We're not ready to leave just yet. I was I was so preoccupied with killing the mechs, I forgot about all the other things we have to kill too. Turon, 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 turon. Thanks for the turon there, troublesome tapper. I hear from Roman that I might get to try some Turon soon. Yeah, we're not prepared for elevation just yet. Oh wait, is this one of the mechs that can spin all the way around? No, okay, good. That's just a little too weird. It does have a really good torso twist range though. Look, wait, it won't let me. There we go. Yeah, that that is power right there. God, imagine if that thing could whip around like that in MechWarrior Online. Oh, my arms are busted. There we go. Oh, I really wish I could walk through the enemy corpses, though. Alright, so I believe that the thing we need to blow up is just in this room over here. It looks like we already got everything except the docking station, so... Oops! Wanna, wanna save our ammo, though. Oh, yeah. Just, just cause some wanton destruction. It's fun. Imagine punching someone like that. That would hurt. Jeez. I think this is the docking station. I, I frankly don't know what that is abstract shape damn how much HP does it have maybe I'm wrong maybe this isn't the docking station well it's at Op Point Baker so it's probably this yeah, I'm wondering what would dock there. Maybe something that lands only vertically up and down? Still looking for the ultimate punching mech in Battletech. Oh, it's the Berserker. The Berserker. My love for you is like a truck. Berserker. Would you like to make a Berserker.
We're in a cave. There's not a whole lot that can really do that with a low ceiling. Yeah, I'm wondering why there's a spaceport indoors. That part has me. Yeah, anything that runs triple strength Mayamur. You're right, Moonstorm. Moonstorm is the battle tech nowhere. I, I'm confused. Nothing is uh, registering when we target it. I mean, something here has got to be the docking station. But you would think it would be the big silly shape that makes a lot of explosions. I mean, it looks like it's important, whatever it is. Yeah, I should probably just keep shooting it. You're right. Oh, that part looks important. Okay, so there's still something to break here. I, I feel like I should ask somebody to go and make sure that this is actually the docking station, but like, how the hell would you search that on Google? Mech Warrior 3 docking station, what looked like? Like, I, I, I don't even. What geometric shape am I supposed to be shooting right now? Well? Maybe, maybe it's this geometric shape. Docking station at Op Point Able. Oh, oh, we did. Oh, we destroyed the headquarters at, at Baker. So that we did that. I'm sorry. We need to go to Op Point Able now. I know what the docking station is then. It's that place with the shuttles. Although again, how do they get the shuttles in here? At least it feels, it's just, I don't know. There's something satisfying about moving through this game. Like, the way that you interact with the space around you feels really good. Except for when your arm lock accidentally turns off. Oops. Yeah, these are shuttles. That, that's a shuttle, apparently. I mean, news to me, but also that, that's a shuttle. It looks like it just spontaneously decided to explode. I don't know if Dominic added some damage that I did. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, that that would explain a lot, wouldn't it? Dummy doggy moment number six thousand four hundred and eighty-six. Where is the docking port? Gee, I imagine it might be the place with the docks. Seriously, though, are they just, like, wheeling them in here? Like, do they land outside and then get put on, like, a skateboard and rolled in here? Like, how are they getting those shuttles indoors? Oh, hey, Xavier. Welcome back. Bork Bork to you, too. Glad you could rejoin us. We've gotten quite a bit further in MechWarrior 3. No, there's no music in this game. I just picked other Mech Warrior music because it was too quiet. Actually, maybe I could, uh... I don't know, is this too intrusive? It's probably too big. Yeah, I'll probably get rid of it. We've only been playing the tabletop for almost two years, but some of the guys have been at it way longer. Oh man, I've been playing Battletech and MechWarrior since before Twitch existed. But I've never actually sat down and played the tabletop. I just know a lot about it. Oh, they have to thread the needle to get in under the ceiling and dock? Oh jeez. Yeah, I think I think you're right about that, Troublesome Tapper. I should probably make a separate ticker for that kind of thing. It's a fun word. Ticker. Alright, we actually beat it. 
All right, get out of this stupid underground base. Joseph is feeling the pressure from above. Okay, still no word from Aponarie. She may be just under radio silence. Oh, thanks, Xavier. Also, Keith Andrew has given up on trying to press. You played this on a joystick. Yeah, joysticks are not very effective for this game, but it feels really cool. Microsoft Sidewinder, baby. Oh wow, we salvaged another Thor. We salvaged another Thor. That's great. It's not going to be easy. You this jinxed it. Just exited. It needs to be closed permanently. Your next target is this structure at Off Point Baker. Freeze video. Intel suggests that this is the main distribution point for materials from the underground facility. It should contain uh, some salvage. Run video. Freeze maybe video. no. Wait. This yeah. The entrance to the next underground site is here. If I remember right, Barrier this objectives. is. A training Eliminate ground with a bunch of fake mechs on it. Neutralize the barracks warehouse area at Baker, and our final rendezvous will be at Op Point Charlie. Op Point Charlie. I just really like how dry that guy's voice is. He's so serious. I, I don't know why that appeals to me so much, but like I love how serious he is. Okay, we don't need three shadow cats. We do need this additional Thor. And we'll take these other things too. Large pulse laser. Ooh. Yep, we're gonna take the big pile of ammo. We need all of that. Except the AC2 ammo. We don't actually need that. Jump jets and a beagle active probe, double heat sinks. Ferro fibrous armor, AMS, and jump jets. Okay, we're good with the salvage. You played Mech Warrior 2, the Mech Assaults, and Mech Warrior Online. Oh yeah, it's it's a good alternative to 40k, that's for sure. Okay, we're gonna put Dominic here in a less ammo dependent build. Let's see. Dominic, you get. Two big lasers in the tummy, and a brace of, well, I don't know, maybe we could give him some short-range missiles too, because he does seem to get into dust-ups more than I'd like. Let's see our ammo situation. Oh, that's bad. Okay, we're going to give them just a, a dummy amount of LRM-5s then. Because for some reason, you can't use LRM-5 ammo in the LRM-10. Even though it's the same ammo and that doesn't make any sense. Oh, do we not have any case? Oh, it's right there. Okay, we'll just move it all into here. Yep. That'll do. Wait, does he have any other guns? Let's make sure that he doesn't. Okay, I think... Well, no, we still have to make him more beefy because he has a lot of spare tonnage. We'll give him some lasers. There we go. That, that'll probably do it. Hey, Pyroman15. How you doing? How you been? Good to see ya. Hope you're having a lovely day. We're playing some Mech Warrior 3 and getting ready for the next mission. Yeah, now I'm kind of jealous of his mech. Let's uh let's make it a different color. Ooh, fetching sunfire. Oh, we can't pick individually. Well, we gotta be the wasp. LRM 5s need special ammo because the mechs weren't stupid enough. <laughs> yeah, who puts an LRM 5 on their mech? For reals though. Doing doing was pretty uneventful. Hey, that's good. Uneventful's not bad. Yeah, let's just give Dominic way more armor. Since he's being such a pain in the butt with the whole dying thing that he likes to do. Maybe 
make sure we have full coverage on those arms. Oh no, there's an uneven number. I can't stand it. Organizational protocols are upsetty. Fine, we'll distribute it to his back armor. Whatever. Okay. Dominic is ready. I'm ready. Let's launch our next mission. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Star Fox announcer. Good luck. Oh, thanks there, Xavier. I appreciate it. Dallium01 says, I never played this one, but LRM5s are good for helicopters and VTOLs in MechWarrior 4 and 5. Oh yeah, that is true. They go down with like any damage, so it is nice to swat them without wasting too many missiles. That, that is a good point. I didn't consider that. Also, welcome in. Glad you could join us. Hope you're having a lovely evening. I think I failed to hit there. So something really interesting is you would think that the reticle would turn, I don't know, red when you're about to hit them, or maybe green to show that you can hit them. But just like in the Battletech books, it turns yellow when you can hit them. And I just think it's neat that there's consistency between this and the books. Oh wow, they're having a bad time already. But they're going after our MFBs, which is just straight up not okay. You guys are not allowed. Wait, is he going for a death from above? Where is he? There he is. Silly. Yeah, it changes color from green to yellow. But yeah, colorblind, that would not work out too well. Green, yellow, same color. Yeah, my roommate has red, green colorblindness as well. Makes it harder to tell when you can hit because the green and yellow are so similar. Yeah, definitely. You can be a total sniper with it too because you can just see the reticle change color from any distance. Gotta roll that damage onto our sides a little bit. Now we're getting into the Mech Warrior style gameplay. Yeah, the aircraft in these games are usually so fragile, you can just sweep them with your laser and they fall out of the sky. Okay, we have to destroy the cargo lift, which we did, and we have to destroy the buildings at Op Point Baker. Oh, this might actually be an easy mission. Maybe the guy was right. You like to imagine that there's some bullshit honor reason why they can't have a hit indicator that's easier to see? I think Battletech just is... is like... a little bit ableist towards red-green colorblind people. Whoa, that's a PPC. That's the first PPC we've encountered so far and it's pointed at us. Probably a mad cat or something over this bridge. That's danger. Oh yeah, there's, there's another shot. PPC, Particle Projection Cannon. Oh, fuck, he got me in the leg. Get up, get up! My leg is immediately gimpy. Oh, no. Lander Delta. Oh, it's that Puma over there. Wow! That's our first legit death so far. Damn, we're just as susceptible to lagging as everybody else. Brutal. Oh, thanks for the foxes there, Phoenix Griffin. Oh, and thank you for the head pat. Okay. We're leaving all this crap behind. We're going for it. A little less- I, I spoke too soon about saying it would be easy. Damn, those Pumas hit like a truck. Coming up on the elevator. Everyone is ready, 
Good job, Dominic. Oh, wow, he didn't stand a chance. That was just embarrassing for him. Targeting. Targeting. Man, they should really put more armor on these guys' legs. All fun and games until they break your kneecaps. Wait, did he say Star Commander Drebin? Like, like Metal Gear Drebin? What's he doing here? Is he laundering battle max now? Oh, you guys aren't allowed to go after my MFBs. That's not acceptable. Oh my god, Metal Gear! Good job, Dominic. War has yet again changed. It's so funny to me that Fallout 3 and Metal Gear Solid 4 came out at roughly the same time. So you had one game that starts with war. War never changes. And then you have another game that came out and was like on the shelf at the same time saying war has changed. It's it's too good. You can't you can't write comedy like that. I keep forgetting that I have these missiles, despite really liking the missiles. Whoa, they went to space! Did you see that? They like veered away from him. Holding the bridge. Enemy pressing forward. Okay, that's enough of the, the lock-on tone from, for the moment. Maybe I should have given Duncan a bunch of SRMs so we could watch him go brawl with people. He really likes making that pain pun. I mean, I guess if your last name is Pain and you're a soldier, you might as well lean into it. Oh, that was the game. Wait, what? Huh? Oh, speaking of helicopters. Oops, I shouldn't have chained those together. Oh, the beeping is the same as your store security system. You mean the beep, 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 beep when you're still locking on? Like the specifically... Oh, I can't get it to do it consistently at this range. Hold on. Targeting. Targeting. Uh, whoa! Hi, we're in the water now. That, the, the, before it goes burr, that's your store's security system. That sucks. Single fire engaged. Group fire engaged. Oh, the puma can't get us down here because he can't shoot his stupid PPCs underwater. All right. Those pumas that gave us so much trouble, they are toast and we get free PPCs. Oh, but there's more of them. Jeez. Beep. Dominic, can you not shoot down even a single helicopter? Where even is it? Oh, hi! Whoa, crack shot and I got him. Gotta make sure these guys don't shoot me too much. There's- Oh, those PPCs are so dangerous. Alright. One down. Oh, he's so tiny compared to me. Look at him. Look, he's a little babby. Wow, he really used his flamer on me. Oh, oh, Black Tiger. Thanks for the follow. I very much appreciate it. 
Hope you're having a lovely evening. Thanks for joining us for some Mech Warrior 3. Oh my goodness. Only nine more followers to hit 600. That is so cool. Can't believe we're already almost at 600. It was like a month ago that I was celebrating 500 with you guys. Thank you everybody for all your support. Oh, they were having some trouble. You guys having some trouble with physics there? Oh, that's adorable. Oh, thanks, Xavier. Yeah, I, I'm having a really good time with things, and I'm so glad that people enjoyed the stream. Oh, right, you can just step on them. What have I been doing with my life? What are you shooting, Dominic? What do you see over there? Oh, it's the, oh, it's the building. Oh, man, he sure is carrying. There's a champion over there. No need for lasers when you have feet. That's right. Just give those tanks the big step. Oh, that champion's more dangerous, though. Get over here. It's super effective. Super effective at wasting my time. Oops. There we go. Why is he just like the top half of an airplane on legs? Who designed this? That's just an airplane. What the fuck? Interesting mech design, but okay. Oh, we only have to enter the uh, the tunnel at Op Point Charlie now. We beat it. Let's see. Oh, that's right here, isn't it? Sweet. Well, that, that mission was laid out nicely. That was, a, that was a fun one. Once I'm once I'm done getting blasted by PPCs, anyway. Going back underground once again. Mission successful. All right. You have to manually exit the level though, which is always kind of weird. Oh, he mad though. You will eliminate them or your legacy dies with you. Is that clear, Star Commander? Use your charges and seal the mountain. If you have to bring it down on top of you, those vermin will not escape. Quiath? Did he did he say blow up the mountain? I don't like that. We recovered some files out of the distribution facility you've destroyed. Looks like you won't have to go underground blind. Briefing to follow. Oh good, we don't have to go underground blind. Let's see what all kinds of stuff we got. Finally some luck. We found a good set of diagrams of our next mission area, and it is the mech production site. The oh yeah, we get to see the silly mech factory, factory that I was talking about earlier. Out for an ambush. This mining facility provided much of the raw material for the factory. Documents mention that the extensive mining has rendered the area very unstable. Feel free to destroy this run of conveyors, but do not damage the processing building or the other conveyors. That's your route into the factory. We think you oh. can cross over via this conveyor. Okay, they're like, destroy this if you feel like it. Bays until coming out at the back of the factory. Points they know what Mech Warrior is like. Expect this entire area to be heavily defended. This should have been Team 3's job. A full lance of heavy mechs. Some good news. Epona Rhea is back on our flank. She broke radio silence 15 Oh, Epona Rhea is coming back. Good. Had some trouble with Jaguar patrols, but picked up good intel on sites north of here. 
Blow it all up, it'll be funny. I mean, I'll blow up everything that I'm supposed to, and then some. Okay, we're gonna allocate our salvage real quick. Man, I guess we're gonna have to get rid of the spare... Well, we have three bushies. I want that champion, even though it's not super amazing. Just because I like having a collection. But however, the ER PPCs that we just got, that's a big deal. A very big deal. Those, those are our lifeblood. They're so good. Oh, and we got some more gun food like crazy. Good, good, good. And clan targeting computer. Oh, yes. Yep, got all the fancy stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and outfit my personal mech a little better. Since it would seem that I am missing a couple things that I keep forgetting to put back on the mech. I want my AMS, thank you. And, oh man, can we fit the targeting computer somewhere? Yeah, let's let's go ahead and shave off just just a little bit so we can fit the targeting computer. Yeah, a lot of heat. The PPCs do make a lot of heat. That is true. But they do so much damage. Let's see. Can we fit it? Oh, we can fit it. I don't know if this will be better than the laser that we were using, but We'll give it a shot. And we'll fill in the rest with... Oh, you know we could fit some more jump jets in here. That would be fun. We could jump. Yeah, we'll try that. I'll see if I can remember the jump jets button. Okay, let's do it. All right, here's our ERPPC. Whoa, feels good, man. All right, all the MFBs are apparently amphibious. They're just chilling in the lake. Good for them. No sensor readings yet. Oh, spoke too soon. I love how she says that. Mech power up detected. Targeting. 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 Alright, so let me explain the targeting computer that I just put on. It's a lead indicator. If I remember right, I can tell it which specific part of the mech I want to target as well. Though I don't know if I remember how to do that. So, might not be able to do that, but now I have a really good, uh, sort of lead indicator, like it's Elite Dangerous or something. And I can hit things from even further away. Or I can ignore it and try to hit their legs. I'll let Dominic deal with that guy, though. There's still more stuff to worry about over here. Wait, is she in the same- yeah. She's so tiny down there. How could Mech Warrior 3 be this cool and Mech Warrior 5 be that boring? I know, right? Isn't it such a tragedy? That is so sad. Alexa, play Mech Spacito. You know what's funny is I've accidentally built this Thor basically the way it's built in the canon. Oh, this guy's a little too close for me to zoom. Oh, clean in between the legs. Here, why don't you have this? God, you gotta be pixel perfect with the little ones. Good thing he's just standing there letting me do it. 
Man, sometimes the AI is clever and sometimes it's just like, here, please shoot. Oh, you found the source of the beeping sound at work? You're a dummy birdie. Oh wow, that's a new one. Ooh, good, good. God, it feels good when you knock them down. You know, I think I'm gonna have to switch back to the lasers after this mission, though. Oh, let's see if I can jump without crashing the game. Oh, it just works. The highly advanced strat of just standing there menacingly. It works for Dio. The motion sensor flusher on one of the toilets needs a new battery. And it beeps like that when the, when the battery's low. Why do we have battery-powered toilets? This- this future is dumb. Battery-powered toilets. Welcome to the 21st century where your phone runs on a battery. And your book runs on a battery. Oh man, that sound- oh, that is such a good stock sound effect. Where have I heard that before? Wait, who died? Dominic? Dominic? Dominic! Dominic! Why did you die? There were no threats in here, what the fuck? How the fuck did you do that, Dominic? He busted his cockpit. He was dead in there. The pilot got smashed. I think he bumped his head against the top of the bridge. That's the only thing I can figure out. I, I really don't know what else it- Oh, thank you. Yeah, just like that. He did that. Damn, Dominic. He was a little more careful this time. God, he 11 foot 8 it himself. You guys have seen that bridge, right? The 11 foot 8 bridge? He just did that with his whole cockpit. He was just like, oops! Targeting. Targeting. That's not gonna buff out. I really wish there was more games where the reticle would change color when it was certain that you were going to hit the enemy. I like that feature. I wish that they hadn't taken it out of Halo. Can't believe that Dominic got clotheslined to death. Yeah, we're going to have to switch back to the laser. I don't think the PPC is doing it for me as much here. Dominic got bullied by a bridge. So this game has an interesting take on anti-missile systems. In MechWarrior Online, it's just kind of a passive thing that's on. You either have it on or you don't. And if there's missiles nearby, it just tries to shoot at them. In this game, it's if you aim your reticle over the missiles, it shoots them then. So you can, you can be a little missile sniper. See? See? I popped like three of them that he shot there. Neg, neg, neg! My favorite Neopets item. Man, there's something about the zoom though that really changes like you- there's something about the zoom that makes it hard to lead targets correctly. I think it's because the, the the focal length is literally different in between the reticle and the zoom reticle. Oh wow! What? What? Damn, okay! Straight on my face! This 
guy is sturdy. Whoa, got legged again. Damn. That's fierce. All right, we'll switch back to the large lasers. That seems to work better. They're hit scan, so they're extra rude. Do, do, do. Get rid of that. Two ER large lasers for me. But we'll have to get rid of the jump jets. I accept this. Laser! Drill! Oh yeah, we're good. Alright, let's try again. I haven't actually played Sonic Colors. I really should. I hear it's good. Sonic Blast comes out tomorrow for a re-release. Oh, what do you guys think of that new Mario game? Not the Super Mario RPG remake, although I think that's pretty cool that they're actually doing that. I was convinced that they would never do that. But no, specifically the- what is it called? Mario Evolved or something? The elephant Mario is kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know about that one, Chief, but Mario Wonder. That sounds like such a Disney name. That's such a Disney thing to name your product. It's opening up. Here they come. Mario Wonder. Targeting. So cool that it has an art style again. Targeting. Yeah, that was kind of my problem with the with the super the new Super Mario Brothers games is they were so sterile. Oh yeah, I've seen a lot of strange Elephant Mario stuff show up on my feed as well. I'm on their leader. Attack. Oh yeah, we're gonna pixel hunt for her leg. We don't have to get close to her like this. Yeah, New Super Mario Brothers just kind of made me sad. It felt like it was designed by committee or something. So yeah, clinical. That's another good word for it, Jimmy. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm I'm pleased that new Super Mario style games will have a actual visual visual appeal of some sort again. I, I feel really mixed about the Super Mario RPG remake. Because it's definitely gonna be less odd than the original. You've heard new Super Mario Brothers U has some great design, but you're just tired of it. Yeah, I had fatigue from it just playing the uh the DS one that came out first. I was like, okay, I think I'm good on New Super Mario Brothers, actually. I love it when the lasers make them fall over, because, like, why? There would be no recoil. It's a laser. It's like shining a really bright flashlight on somebody. You like that there's so little information from MechWarrior 3 on Twitch that they include... A novelization called Trial, Trial Under Fire was written by Lauren L. Coleman. It, it's true. I've read that novelization. It was pretty garbage. Which is disappointing because Lauren L. Coleman can write an okay Battletech book when he feels like it. You ever read that one Halo book that was just a retelling of the first game's events? Yeah, it was kind of like that. Except it was just a novella. It was really short. Oh, you're pretty sure that you played the Blackjack minigame more than New Super Mario Brothers? Yeah. I like it when Nintendo includes minigames that are more fun than the actual title. Yeah, Halo the Flood. That's the one. Okay. The mining equipment at Op Point Able has been successfully eliminated. Now we must get to Op Point Baker without being killed or without Dominic blowing his own head off. Clear the processing facility. You were so embarrassed when you bought the Ocarina of Time book expecting a novelization. Honestly, that would be so cool though. Oh, it was for small children? Aww. See, I was imagining like the Metal Gear Solid 1 book where it, it was like a serious crack at writing an adult novel about it. The Metal Gear Solid book is super weird. Okay, Dominic. Dominic, it's your moment of truth. 
Can you do it? The music is rooting for you, Dominic. Come on. Oh, he did it. He did it, you guys. He's he's all good. I don't remember how we're supposed to get up on that conveyor belt. Oh, here. There's a ramp. But yeah, wouldn't it be interesting if there was a novelization of Ocarina of Time? I would like to see a book written from Link's perspective. Because they would have to give him thoughts. They would have to make him have sentiments. I want to know what a dubiously canon version of Link would think about. Because the narrator would have to be like, Link thought really hard about this and decided to go, Hap! Shkat! Hap! Hap! The Wind Waker manga is good. Oh yeah, don't they just have him pantomime in that? That is cute. Dominic, what are you doing? Link just thinks in hi -yas. Of course. Dominic, what the fuck? What is he blowing up in there? There's nothing left. Yup! Yup! Kill pots! Yup! Shkak! All of Link's attempts at communication were futile. I just really like the one where Ocarina of Time Link goes shkak. That's a fun thing to say out loud. Dominic? I'm watching you. You, you better not be acting to Mickey back there. Imagine a novelization of the Tingle games. Oh god. I don't know, I feel like Nintendo would be more likely to do that though. Just because they like doing weird shit with Tingle. Oh, Dominic survived. Okay, moving on then. I was really worried about him. I thought he was going to do the same thing. They are coming. No one touches their commander. He is mine. Isn't it I'm a she, but okay. Your canon, I your your canon idea of Link is a total grimin gremlin who's a menace to society while saving it from the greater evils. I think that's basically actually canon. Oh yeah, that one. <laughs> Oh, Epona Rhea is here. Hi. Yeah, let's leg that Annihilator then. Epona, keep moving. You're a stationary target, Epona. Stop. Stop, die. Got his ass. Alright, Jade Wolf, there's your Annihilator. Also, I told you guys that the- Hey, this Puma doesn't have permission to shoot me with a flamethrower. Cool color lighting, though. It's Epona from Zelda. Alright, so I need you guys, before my teammates blow it up, this is what the game decided a battle mech factory looks like. Oh no, they blew it up. Oh, they blew me up too. God damn it. God damn it. My squatties, everybody. My, my squatties. <laughs> I did die, didn't I there, Moonstorm? Man! That's brutal. I didn't even do anything wrong there. Yeah, I had a critical existence failure. Ah, accurate, accurate recreation of MechWarrior Online. Yeah. You know, I think I know what we're going to do this time. We're going to tell Dominic to stay the fuck out of there. We will take care of it. We will save Epona. My main goal is to blow up and act like I don't know anybody. Oh man, that just makes me think of the um, the serious Sam guys that just go. Aah! Oh man, ever since we uh, played Slayer's X, I've had the voice of that one enemy stuck in my head, the one that goes bouncy, bouncy. He was so annoying, but he was so memorable. Oh, the music is cresting at a good time. I'm on 
Yes, stay in that angle. Let me blow off your leg. You may not like it, but this is what peak mech piloting looks like. Targeting. Bouncy, bouncy, werewolf GFs win. Gosh, Dasaki. 621 was yesterday. Like the arch file from Doom 2? Oh, yeah. Man, that's a sound that will forever be burned into my brain. Fucking arch files. Oh wow, he wasn't even out of his stand-up animation and he got sat back down. There is one way out. The only way out is through. It's always 621 when you bust out your Forza car. Oh no. I'm alarmed. Okay, we're gonna tell... Duncan? Dominic, god damn it. Dominic, you stay put. You stay put now. Yeah, you stay there. Are you staying? I'm watching you. You're gonna be in big trouble, mister. Oh, you have the Team 621 la Racing Lambo skin as your, as your free roam car? That's pretty good. I told you to stay put, Dominic! God damn it! You little shit! Oh, I have to offer him treats first. Dominic! I'll give you clanner guts if you stay put! Ah, that was my mistake. I forgot to press 1. Alright, there you go, buddy. Stay there. We'll be back for you. His favorite music is on. He has air conditioning in his heat sinks. He's gonna be fine. Okay. Now we have to make sure that Epona Ri doesn't get killed by this giant annihilator. And we have to get it before we have to go to break! Oh my god! Isn't it great to feel wanted? Okay, got one of his little buddies. Give me your leggy! I have to blow it off! Quick, quick! Oh, Dura Soup, thank you for the head pads. Okay, we got it. Alright, I want to show you guys the mech factory before my teammates blow it up and kill me again. It's really, really funny to me because it's just like a little tentacles thing. Like, why are they like this? Oh no, it's, it's getting them before I can show you. I have to get away from it before it all blows up! Epona, no! Stop! Stop, stop! Epona, please. Hey, Tirana VR. Good to see you. Glad you could make it. Hope you're doing well. Oh, she's not gonna stop. I see how it is. Also, hey, Durasu. Glad you could join us. How you doing? How you been? We're trying to make sure that we don't die or lose teammates in the giant colossal explosion that's about to happen. Okay, I think we're good. We beat the mission. All right, guys. So I don't know if you could tell, but these mechs were just being built by like a little tentacle, basically. That's not how they're built. I think it's a very funny video game abstraction. And I wanted to show you more, but our teammates were too dead set on blowing it up. So let's finish the mission and go to break. We'll be back in five minutes, everybody. When we get back, we're gonna have some more fun with MechWarrior 3 and digi doggy see you soon everybody grab yourself a snack grab yourself a drink have yourself a nice little coolant flush and before you know it we'll be having fun in big stompy mechs again see you soon
The Ice Blade has a Hack Blood charge. Welcome back, everybody. I'm DigiDoggy, your favorite dog-shaped robot corgi girl, and we're playing MechWarrior 3 tonight. Thanks for sticking with me during the break. We're going to continue having a good time and stomping these clanners' butts. Hope you guys had a good break. I know I did. And thank you for the welcome backs there, DuraSoup and Xavier. Glad you guys were sticking with us during the break. Okay, let's go ahead and get ready for some more heavy metal action. Gotta get my cockpit here. Gotta get the, the the countdown all gone and taken care of. And let's get back to it. All right. It's been so good so far. Yeah, I've had to do a couple retries, but I've been having a really good time. And I'm glad you guys are so into it. All right, we just beat this mission, so we should get some nice exposition. And we managed to keep Epona alive, despite her best efforts to die. Ask for a working dropship. 
We got two annihilators? In the meantime, earlier scouting has pointed Sorry, out what? How? There was only one in there. How did we get three Thors and then two Annihilators? I'm not complaining. But wow. What the fuck? That That is a haul for the ages. The hard stretch. No, those are not just mech parts. We get the whole mech. Maybe there were some in storage? Maybe. Maybe it's because I redid the mission. I died, and then I killed the Annihilator again. Oh, right, sorry, the music. We're sitting near these ruins. This facility commands the clan training field. This gap to the left leads to the headquarters building for the training center. Might have been mission rewards to help with escalating difficulty. Oh, that's such a modern gameplay mentality, but maybe. at Abel, the tunnel at Baker, and the tunnel at Charlie. We have detected All right. fixed emplacements here. We have no data on current mech and vehicular threats in the area, but they're probably going to be heavier than No data so available. I'm trying to direct Keith Andrew into our Okay, I guess we're getting rid of our stupid little Blackhawk. So we need to make room for big old Annihilator. And, uh... I really like the Bushwhacker, but I guess also Annihilator. We'll give one Annihilator to Epona, and we'll make sure that she's loaded down with a bunch of stuff that isn't going to run out halfway through the mission. Mecha Doggy. Hey, Durasoup. Yeah, we're having fun with the uh, with the build system here. That's for sure. So we're gonna strip everything out of here. It's all garbage. We can do way better. We're gonna give her... Oh, there's still other heat sinks on her. Rare. Oh boy. Alright, there we go. Now we're gonna get rid of all of that and stick one of these in each leg. And... Hmm, we'll give her... Oh, we have a lot of PPCs. We'll make her into a PPC boat. And then we'll fill in the rest with... What is our most plentiful ammo type? Oh, you gotta head out there, Will? Well, thank you for stopping in. I hope you have a good night, and thank you for the head pats. Always good to see ya. Get yourself some good rest. Oh yeah, we have way too many LRM fives. We're gonna we're gonna give some of that to Epona here. Ah. ah. Okay, so we'll just stuff. Stuff all of the torsos. Your journey ends here, senpai. Oh hey, it's Viper Chan! What? No, the headpads belong to me. Oh, whoa. Ooh, woo. Wait, no glomp! No glomp, no glomp, no glomp, no glomp. Oh, I think we're good. He missed. Alright, so we'll give you... A lot of ammo. Just, just so much ammo. Yeah, that, that helps. Alright. And we'll give you case so you don't explode violently when you're shot in the ammo. And then we'll fill up the rest with LRM5. Well, maybe it's gratuitous. Wait, who am I kidding? No such thing as gratuitous, it's a mech warrior game. No, if, if anything, we need more ammo. And we'll give you an AMS in the head. 
Yes, this this is a sensible build and not at all stupid. Uh oh, we're full up on salvage. Oh man, we're gonna have to get rid of some stuff. Arrow. Oh, thanks for the arrow there, Dasaki. Yeah, I, I definitely needed more ammo. Okay, we're gonna get rid of all this crap because who needs all that machine gun ammo? We're never gonna use those. That helps a little bit. And we're gonna get rid of... We have just regular armor? Nope. Okay, we'll get rid of all these cases though. And we don't need that many CC C3 slaves. We only need three of them. And... Oh wow, look at all the stuff we still haven't picked up out of the salvage pile either. Man. Well, we're definitely going to need all those LRMs for later. Man, they gave us a lot. I guess we did just raid a battle mech factory, though. I suppose we can stand to get rid of the shadow cats. They're pretty plentiful if we decide we need them. Seems like such a shame to get rid of them, but they're so heavy. And we're giving our squatties assault mechs anyway. Speaking of which, I guess we'll give Dominic one too. We'll just save this loadout though. There we go. Now we can just quick switch so we don't have to do that as aggressively. But it looks like we are short on... What are we short on here? Oh, double heat sinks? Maybe? Oh! Uh-oh! Looks like the elementals are coming to get me! Bye! Oh! Amazing timing there! Oh boy, time to get down while I'm busted. Oh, we were just missing the AMS. That's no big deal. Thanks for that incredible combo, guys. I don't think I've ever seen myself quite this jank. We have a glitchy doggy, a head pat doggy, RGB doggy, Spain doggy. We got cardboard box and we got hiya. Thank, thank you, thank you, everybody. Thanks for keeping it spicy. Okay, we're gonna finish this off with a good solid uh, AMS for this one right here. And then we're good to go. Oh, greetings, Doomguy7419. Yeah, that, that Moai was perfectly timed to bust the crane. I've never seen it do that before. That was really impressive. Okay, we gotta finish allocating our salvage here. Jeez, there's even more good stuff here. Sheesh. Well, we can't just leave this. That's too good. What did you walk into? Something amazing. My chat decided that they were ready to bully. Uh, trying to make sure I don't leave behind anything really good. It's getting kind of hard though, we have no tonnage left. Let's see, trying to get rid of some crap. Oh, 24 medium lasers. Yeah, I think we can skip some of those. Everybody knows this part of a mech warrior run where you're just purging all the unworthy equipment. AC2 ammo. We're not using AC2s ever. What am I what am I thinking? We were carrying like dozens of tons of the ammo for it. We're never going to use it. 
Yeah, let's be real. We're not using Streak SRM2 either. LB2X? You gotta be kidding me. This game looks sick. Oh, Doom Guy, it is so much fun. I really highly recommend it. If you can bully it into working on your system, it is a really good time. It's my favorite Mech Warrior game, and also just a really fun title that has aged very well, if you ask me. So check it out if you have the chance. It's abandonware. You can definitely get it for free if you look where if you look for it. Okay, I think that's as good as it's gonna get for us. We're gonna have to play more inventory Tetris some other time, but I think we're ready. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. All systems doggy. This game looks like a fake video game from a 90s movie in a good way. Yeah, it definitely has that vibe, doesn't it? It's like too good to be true. Alright, so now our teammates are walking missile boats. And they can provide us with much support. Oh, this is the area. This is the one that I thought it was. This is a training area, and it's full of fake mechs. Oh gosh darn it, I'm not using the right AMS. Jesus. Okay, we're gonna be corner humping for a minute until we get through the, uh, the missile trap here. Targeting. 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 Holy jeez, that's a lot of them. Why don't we just, uh, yeah, let's blot out the sun with some missiles. This guy... He's a little brave or a little stupid, not sure which, but he's definitely dead now. Yeah, isn't that picture-in-picture -picture effect really cool? It's like, I, I haven't really seen that in a lot of games. Targeting. They have fake mad cats everywhere here just to trip me up. They're made of hologram. Targeting. Gotta get an Itano circus going. How old is this game? This is from 1999. Targeting, 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 targeting. 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 Sorry, it does that. It reminds you of how some of the more immersive VR shooters do scopes. Damn, that's impressive. And yeah, this game can drink. Any game released on this day in 2002 or earlier can drink. All right. Well, our Annihilator buddies are not doing as much work for me as I'd like, but they do look pretty cool. You have a beer in the freezer. Oh shit, go get it before it explodes! Wrong name for the Timberwolf. Oh, you're one of those types, I see. Yes, the Timberwolf, or as the Inner Spheres denizens know it, the Mad Cat, is probably the most iconic mech warrior design. And this one is just a hologram, so we can walk right through it. Targeting. I forget what the excuse is for why there's holograms everywhere here. She's role-playing as an inner sphere pilot! Yeah, that's right, Taffer. Need to smoke some more weed. Oh, do you now, Tarana? Thank you for the extra ram there, Phoenix Griffin. Alright, so what we're trying to do now is avoid getting murked by these guys as I walk around the corner. Too bad I didn't keep any jump jets. Oh, you're just a dirty clanner. Alright, Trashborn, if you say so. 
I'm gonna steal your mech and use it in Solaris with melee weapons. Haven't been able to watch much, just popping in for a moment before bed. Hey, it's all good, Hexadecimator. Glad you could join us a little bit. We're having some fun still with MechWarrior 3. Targeting. Always forget you can refire the lasers just before they refill. Oh, there's an avatar. Let's go get him. You haven't seen anybody play this game in ages? Oh yeah, I don't even know what the last time somebody was playing it on Twitch was. I had somebody come in and say this is the most viewers they've ever seen this game have on Twitch. That felt pretty good. However, the PPC to the face that was just delivered to me did not feel good. That was... that was a dick move. All right, that avatar, he's our problem now. Yep. Consider it done. Ah, geez, the close corners with the picture in picture is hard to do. Causes some kind of strange offset. Whoa, nice bounce. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I took too much damage. Gotta restart. Sorry. You've only ever seen it on YouTube, and just by chance after watching other games of the series. Yeah, it is so hard to get it running on modern systems that it tends to go un unappreciated. We'll put it that way. Also, I, I see that my avatar is doing the thing again, so let me see if I can, uh, if I can try to fix that. Let's see here. Sorry about that. I don't know why it's been doing that tonight. We'll have to uh, glitch me a little harder. Yeah, hopefully that helps. Let's see if it wears off now. Am I sinking? No, it is an optical illusion, doggy. But look, it works. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Oh, it's the charm of the game bleeding over? Oh, I'm glad you feel that way. Uh oh, over. Chopper Dave, we have uh oh. Your go to build was a kit box with large lasers that would overheat on every shot, but kill any mech instantly. Oh yeah, that's a Mech Warrior 2 build if there ever was one. You could you could get away with some really gross builds in that particular one. If only you could just shoot the missiles out of air with your laser. Sorta of doing a little bit of it. Our AMS is doing work. Guys, why aren't you fighting? Like, are you just that slow? Here, let's, uh, one, two, F6. There we go. The genius of C-Lab 2021 is they knew the name would only get funnier in time. Yeah. It is, they, they were pretty clever. Wait, did one of my teammates just get killed? Oh no, one of the enemies got killed. Okay, good. Hey buddy, hi! Fall down, go boom, please. Oh no, the glitch is back. Well, we're just gonna have to deal with it. Actually, no, who am I kidding? I can I can multitask. Let's uh hold up. We'll fix it. I think we can fix it. Nope, it, it might actually be stuck on. I think I just made it worse. Incredible. Well, that's fine. We'll just be glitchy doggy. I literally made it worse. Oh boy.
it's it's just appropriate, you know? Piloting a hundred and something year old mech. It's gonna be a little bit fuzzy, don't worry about it. Okay guys, you better be on me. Oh, sure you are, Dominic. Your slow-ass mechs, get over here. Missile launch detected. Oh, oof, he was ready. Yeah, we're gonna back off and let our squaddies get over here so they can help us out with some more LRMs. I thought I could dodge those. Okay, well this guy is going to give us an opening. We might as well take it. There we go. Oh, since it's abandoned where, there's a copy of it on archive.org. Oh, hell yeah. Go for it, illegal Owen Wilson imposter. Uh, there's also a MechWarrior 3 community discord. Wow! That guy had an Ultra AC-20 and he got me in the cockpit, I do believe. Oh, ye yeesh. Okay, wow. Impressive. That guy had the fuck you cannon. That was- I didn't even have time to really think about what he was doing. That, that's a big yikes for me. Let's see. Can we... Can we take one of those? Because that would be nice. Do I have an Ultra AC-20 yet? Ooh, I do. Do I have any ammo for it? Ah, uh, darn. That's, that's the hang-up. It's the best gun in the game, damage-wise, but I literally have no ammo for it at all. So that's that's a big nope. Unfortunate. Well, in that case, we might as well put the missiles back, I guess. Gosh darn it. Wait, why do we have LB-10? I don't want that. I want the AC-10. Yes. And a couple tons of ammo for it. Wait, did I lose my- oh, there it is. Okay, we're all good. Oh, you think your first 3D PC game that you played was a MechWarrior game, but you couldn't wrap your head around WASD? So you bound arrow keys and you would cross your left hand over your right while you played. That was actually pretty normal behavior for the 90s. I bet you it was probably Earth Siege or Star Siege. Did it save these? These are not what we saved. God damn it. It didn't save any of this. Or did it? Oh yeah, okay, we're good. There's just still so much in this pile. Man, it sucks a little bit to leave all this behind, but I mean we got a we got a pretty good batch of mechs right now. Even in the 2010s, you knew people that would not play PC games if they weren't allowed to change WASD to the arrows. Fucked up if true. Okay, yeah, we, we definitely left behind all the, the, the bad stuff. Let's go. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. You remember being at a friend's house and seeing his brother playing some mech game 
where he ejected and was running around as mechs were trying to blast his pilot to pieces. You wonder if it was Star or Earth Siege? Can't get out of your mech in Star Siege, but I bet you it was Shogo, Mobile Armor Division. I bet you. It could have been Mech Assault too, possibly. But I bet you it was Shogo. No, it wasn't Shogo? Hmm. Was it... What kind of the mechs were they? Did they scoot around on wheels ever? Because it could have been heavy gear. Now, Mech Assault 2 did let you get out of the mechs, but that would have been an Xbox only title. I did play the Mech Assault games. I actually, Mech Assault 2 was the one that really got me into the series. But yeah, if it was a 90s PC mech game, it might have been Heavy Gear. Because there was very few mech games where you could actually get out. Genome! Yeah, that's, a, that's another one. I forgot about Genome. Here's hoping that Armored Core 6 makes mechs have another moment. Oh yeah, I think people are ready. I do, I do think people are ready for more mechs. There's been a growing sentiment. Also, look at how much you get pushed around by enemy munitions in this one. In later MechWarrior games, you just get screen shake, but in this one, you get beat up. Like, you, you really have to be ready. You feel like you're gonna fall over. Oh, hey, Fritzy666. Glad you're still with us. Wow, she got it. She got a cockpit shot on him. Nice. How is it that my arm ammo, arm armor is almost already gone? Good thing I don't keep anything on the arms. Oh yeah, I do remember Chrome Hounds. Chrome Hounds was uh was a really good one that unfortunately had its servers taken from us way too soon. If mechs have another moment, you want to see someone try to rival Steel Battalion in terms of absurd control schemes? I feel like the only way that would happen these days is if they do it in VR. It would have to be a VR cockpit. Yeah, this is the mech equivalent of trying to find a killer in a room full of mannequins. Yeah, that is the most accurate description of this level. Also, that electricity sound is in other games of this era. Are there any good VR mech games? I don't know. I know that some exist. There's Vox Machine, which has been in development since the Oculus Dev Kit 1 days. Remember the Connect Steel Battalion sequel? We try not to think about Steel Battalion heavy armor. We try not to ever acknowledge that one existing. That, that one, we don't talk about that game. Yeah, I do remember that it exists. I wish it didn't. There are very few mech games on this world where I'm like, God, I wish that didn't exist. That's one of them. I have a lot of room in my heart for mech games, but that one? That one is an abomination. Detected. It's an insult to every actual Steel Battalion fan, like me. God, my teammates, I, I gave them mechs that are too freaking slow. So it's just like being solo. If they fix the controls, would I be cool with it or is it just rotten to the core? Uh, the thing is, they called it Steel Battalion, but they made it like a World War II style diesel punk game that has absolutely nothing to do with Steel Battalion. There's no recognizable concepts. There's no recognizable designs. The setting is not the same. The time period is not the same. It's like piloting a Sherman with legs. And like, that would be a cool game if it was its own game. But they put Steel Battalion on it. And that's infuriating. Missile launch detected. Like, that would be like if you released a Halo game. Where you play as an unarmored soldier. Living in the year 3000. Like, it would not be a Halo game anymore. It would be its own thing.
Whoa, did they blow up their own facility? Oh, coolant flush time. This avatar is being my problem. You wouldn't put it past 343? I mean, they already did retcon literally everything about Halo, so yeah, you're right though. Like, the... Don't get me started on Halo lore, actually. I will never shut up. 343's canon made it so that there's literally nothing... There's no reason for the Covenant to be fighting humanity. Whoa, I broke it. That wasn't one shot, Dominic, but I appreciate your bravado. Now kindly do us a favor and get all these too. Still not as bad as the TV series? Oh god, the Halo TV series. Oh man, talk about things that are so bad that they're not even good, but I still had to hate watch it just to see how bad it got. Like, it was making me so mad with how ridiculous it was, but I couldn't turn away. It was it was a TV show train wreck. Wow, we got killed again. You took it as 343 Lord justifying the Covenant's war? Well, that's the messed up thing. It's a completely different canon from the games. They're calling it the Silver Canon. Dominic getting his revenge. Yeah, good for him. What a rotten way to die. What a rotten way to die. Okay, we're good to go. You're gonna see if Wine has an easier time playing MechWarrior 3 out of the box than it can run on Windows. That is like a thing. I also recommend trying PCM. It's very good at this. But this one is running out of the box more or less. You haven't touched any of the games since 4? Yeah, I liked... I, I liked Infinite okay, but the story's not very good. Okay, I have to make sure that my teammates actually know I want them to follow me. I got it this time. Thanks, Moonstorm. I'll do my best. Oh, you never played a Halo game. But you like to annoy your friends by referring to Master Chief as Halo? Classic. Okay, I wasn't sure that they were listening. It's John Halo, that's right. It's really funny because he doesn't actually have a canonical last name. Oh shit, salute animation. Yeah, you know it, Tapper. Took you a while to see it. I've been doing it all night. Missile launch detected. Man, the missiles are so brutal in this game. I think Halo is a pretty cool guy. A shoots aliens and doesn't afraid of anything. Guess that's better than Fortnite guy. D what is his name? It's like Captain Jones or something. Captain Jonesy. Oh, it's Jonesy. Okay. Okay, now my teammates finally caught up and started shooting. I guess I'm just gonna have to move around at the speed of slow to let these guys do their work. Oh wow, they have so many LRM-5s and they shoot so tightly compared to the LRM-20 that I've accidentally created some kind of rocket fist attack. They, they are so powerful. The only Jonesy you care about came from the Nostromo. Ah, love me an Aliens reference. All right, me and the boys with the rocket spam.
The new Alien Squad RTS game is really good. Ooh, really? I didn't know there was a thing like that. I saw there's also a Starship Troopers game. What's going on with uh, with video games that we're suddenly having a bunch of like 80s and 90s action movie adaptations? There's also a Robocop game in development that looks pretty interesting. Oh, you've been eyeing Starship Troopers as well? Yeah, it looks kind of cool. really wish my teammates would come and help me out already. Targeting. You know what? Fine. You guys go in there. Just do it. Okay. Consider it done. Oh, they're so agreeable, though. Damn, they home so strongly. There is no cover here, too. Oh, the Aliens one is super atmospheric and it reminds you of the War Warcraft 3 maps that you used to play. Ooh, that's a good Target. vibe. Target. I really should check it out. Okay, you guys, attack Consider this. It Consider it done. Detected. We're in a lot of danger. I'm gonna try to leg this one while the while my buddies are shooting at the other one. Go, my children, go! Brutalize them with your swarms of missiles! Okay. Just gotta get that avatar without being destroyed myself. Whoa, jeez. There's more of them. I'm just gonna run for it. Oh no, my arm! Once again, my LRM- I mean, my L my auto cannon has been blown off. They really like launching missiles at me in particular. Oh, that's it? Oh, wait, no. We should be so lucky. You forgot this was back when PC games mostly came on discs. Yeah, that's right. I actually have the disc mounted right now. They know I'm the most dangerous one. Yeah, you're probably right there, Bill Sid the Science Kid. Okay. Just gotta get the, m the mobile field base over here. Oh boy, that's gonna take a minute. Alright, time to run around the map looking for stragglers. You got it. I'm disengaged. I'll move them to the proper base where they're supposed to be too. Man, I wish I had, like, a sprint button. Congratulations! You're a priority target! Oh, what an ignominious honor. Man, we're getting pretty deep into the campaign, too. I feel like we're about- Oh! Oof! Thanks for the arrows! That kid, 69238222, thank you so much for the follow. We are only seven away from 600, and I really appreciate the support. Hope you're having a lovely night tonight. Can Mega Doggy swim? I am IPX6 waterproof rated to five meters. So kinda. Only, only to a point. I don't think I want to get in the water, but I could. Briefly. With some risk. No Titanic <laughs> tours for Doggy? Oh yeah, I saw... The saga we were discussing last night has come to an end. Am I goop-proof rated? Gosh, I don't think so. Ew! Oh god, I guess not. Ugh. Thanks for the slime, Bill said the science kid.
Oh, I thought those were clanners for a second. I got worried. Ah! Oh my god, the slime is everywhere. Thanks, Peach Weasel. The slime doesn't stain this model? Well, it's actually Toe Slime that I switched to a different software. We don't have that kind of slime anymore. It doesn't work like that anymore, unfortunately. Oh, but we can still spin. Spin! 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 Oh, thank you for the spin. I'm living in a box. Living in a cardboard box. Oh, thanks for the salt toast line. Oh man, glitch mode and wiggle doggy together. I'm going crazy. Alright, well, I guess we beat the mission. Sorry, Darian, tell us you feel salty about that? Sorry, toast line. Uh oh, am I stuck wiggling? I, I think you did wiggle the doggy too hard. Let me let me see if I can unwiggle. <laughs> Thanks for the mission pass, by the way, Toastline. Oh, I guess we didn't kill every mech there, so we didn't get our bonus objective. But that's okay. I'm gonna watch this, and we'll we'll fix my wiggles afterwards. Oh, crane time! has to come down and all enemy mechs in the area destroyed when you're ready head for this site, oh thanks for the claw machine toast line looks like i'm still the wiggling oh boy you know what i think i'm gonna have to fix it Lance leader the mfbs are badly in need of refit and repair intel suggests that the facility at op point able will give us the materials that we need Clear gotta take care of the mfbs when you think it's safe I'm still you were sure that would fix the wiggle mission. Well, you would think, but it's actually a shader. Oh, yo, England hat with the rain! Oh! may have to divert from our proposed route. I'll keep you informed. Out. Welcome in, everybody. I'm DigiDoggy, your favorite dog-shaped robot Corgi girl. We're having a little bit of a, a wiggle moment here. Let me see if I can fix this, but, uh, welcome in. Thank you for joining, everybody. Always good to see you. Thank you again for that raid there, England Hat. What were you getting up to on your stream? Oh my goodness. Okay, I think I need to kill. I need to kill the doggy. Hold on. Yeah, we're gonna have to restart. But, thank you. Thank you again for joining. Hope you're having a lovely evening. Oh, you were playing Magic and it was alright? Cool. Yeah, Magic's fun. We're, uh, we're playing Mech Warrior 3. We're having a good time with it. Uh, you actually just caught me right before a break, unfortunately, but I also think, you know, uh, maybe it's a good time to take a breather. So I'll go ahead and, uh, whoa, wow, it broke. It broke so good. Let me get me back so I can thank you properly. Oh, that, that'll, that'll do. That'll do, doggy. Okay. Let me get everything back the way it was. I apologize. Thank you for joining Raiders. You got me right when I was at my must my most scuffed. All right. So, yes, we're playing Mech Warrior 3. It's been amazing. And I totally missed the briefing. Let's uh let's just go for it. Oh wait, we still got to worry about the uh Hmm, there's a couple of things we need to get out of the salvage bin before we continue on. Oh, the scuff as charm. Thanks, England hat. It's always nice to see ya. Thank you again for the raid. Oh, good. There was hardly anything that we want here, so we can just keep going. Reactor online. Sensors it's online. fitting with how I look right now, too. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, I feel like it's on brand. Okay, mission objectives. Oh, we just have to we just have to fight for this one. Mech power up detected. Target it's just gonna be a straight up fight. Told you so. Oh, I want that timber wolf. 
We're gonna try to get that. Not a stream without a little scuff. Yeah, you said it, Bill Sage Science Kid. Okay, my teammate my teammates are too damn dangerous. Wow. They do so much DPS I couldn't get that one. Oh wait, I thought that was a friendly. Uh oh. Well, that's what happens when you walk right up to an annihilator because it think you think it's your friend's annihilator. You get annihilated. Yeah, imagine that. It's right in the name, even. Annihilator? I hardly know her. All right, let's try that again with slightly less dying and being dead. Where are they? I'm getting sussy. Here I come. Thought I was about to take a break. Well, not quite yet. We got a raid. The show must go on. Okay, that, that is our target. You guys need to be attacking that. Yes, sir. That better be the military, sir. I'm a girl doggy. Whoa, shit. My canopy. Wow, they didn't listen. My teammates did not listen to me. That's not acceptable. What are they, Charizard? No, we really, we really want the Mad Cat to be intact. I'm not gonna let them do that. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. I'm right behind you. Thought I was gonna take a break. Yeah. Wait, why am I glitching out again? How could this happen? You'll be heading to bed bed when the break hits. Yeah, you know, you know, guys. Yeah, maybe maybe it is that hour. I gotta get things ready for tomorrow as well. All right, I'll make another crack at it, and we'll decide one way or another. Okay, well, we got Alan Matilda here too. We got our whole lance. Oh, you have some that'll go nice with butter. Ooh, I want buttery bread. Mmm, that sounds really good right now, actually. I want garlic bread. Okay, here's our buddy Alan. Alan Matilla, our last lance mate. He, he survived a whole bunch of bullshit all on his own. He's looking a little rough in his sunder there, but he's, he's okay. Good for him. Poor Alan. He's had a hard time. Making tutorials and all that. Wow, do they have, like... Oh, I thought the lighting was- the busted lighting was muzzle flashes. Only thing better than a lance is a star? Yeah, because it's four mechs versus five mechs. Alright, where are those little buggers from before? The way. Pulling up the rear. You slept Lead like a way. brick? Awesome, Roman. You joined us just in time to catch a little bit of the tail end of some Mech Warrior 3. Hope you had a good rest. Mech power up detected. Mech power up detected. Uh oh. Okay. Okay, go after the Annihilator. I want the Timberwolf as my permanent ride, please. 
Yeah, PCM, PCEM. I should have explained. Sorry. I I forgot that phonetics are not the same thing as typing. But yeah, PCEM, the PC emulator. Okay, I'm going to have my teammates go to town on that guy. Just quietly take out the Mad Cat before they nail him with every missile again. Got a carefully pixel hunt there. Shooting the correct leg only. Okay, good. Now we can- wait. Alan, did you just go down? I'm up oh no, Alan! Fuck! Alright, I think he's gonna be okay. And if he's not, we'll go back and replay the mission some other time. But I think we're just gonna have to buy Alan a new mech. Such a shame, too. He was piloting a Sunder. Those are pretty cool. Damn, they got him good. Alright, well... Uh, we just need to protect the fortress now. Oh great, it's a horde mode! Targeting. Shit! Alright. Welcome to an invasion! Targeting. Here we go. Why is he so jittery? Oh, he's got ECM is why. Wow, the missiles just scoot away from him. They're like, nope. Never mind. Damn, I kick ass. Sure, Epona, yeah. Yes, you do. Oh yeah, now they're now they're giving him the business. I can't even see them for all the mess here. Alright. Nice well, hopefully Alan was able to survive because he's like mission critical or whatever. Oh, we got the Mad Cat! Yay! Yay! All right, let's watch one last briefing. We have no probe data for this area, only the space shot. Go ahead, Alan. My pod was last out of the Black Hammer. I came to ground very near where the dropship finally crashed. About here, I figure. At up point Abel. No other survivors. He makes me think of Chase from House shot. MD. No support vehicles. No way to make it. It's from Space Dryer. All I could do is wait Just like, just like Berta and Raditz. Oh, of course, in Space Dryer, we got lots and lots of battle mechs. Smoke Jaguars are certainly stripping the Black Hammer for themselves. I'll bet you that convoy Keith Andrew noticed was heading out to pick up the salvage. Keith made it? How close? Can he drop some of those artillery missiles of his on the convoy for us? Oh man, we get the artillery. Wow, rude. All right. Okay, guys. So, I think we're going to wrap it up for, for now. But next time we come back to Mech Warrior 3, which we will come back to, we're going to have a Mad Cat, we're going to have artillery support, and we're going to have a squad. So this is where Act 2 of the game really gets going, I think. So we'll have that to look forward to next time we play. But for now, you know the drill. You know what time it is. We got to thank everybody who joined us. Let me go ahead and get everything ready. Oh man, I sure hope the button works. I think I might have forgotten to part it to... Nope, there we go. All right, everybody. Thanks for coming out tonight. I'm DigiDoggy, your favorite dog-shaped robot quirky girl, and I stream every weekend Pacific time in the evenings, except this weekend. I'll be streaming Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops tomorrow, and then I'll see you guys next week. 
I, I will be skipping this Saturday and Sunday. I have some real life stuff to do. But before we get going on a raid, and before we say hi to some stream friends, I want to thank everybody who helped make this stream possible tonight. Oh wait, Turon? 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 Thanks, da boy. Thanks, da boy. I really appreciate that one last Turon of the evening. Alright, before we get going though, I gotta thank everybody who helped support the stream tonight. So, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Thank you, Jimmy McThickis and Meryl Vixenberg for being our awesome mods. Thank you, that kid 6923822, O Black Tiger, and Milkman the Rat for the follows. Thank you to the Saki V, Phoenix Griffin, Moonstorm 3D, and the Punisher MHN for those wonderful resubs. And thank you to Hatome and England Hat for the raids. You guys are all lovely. One last thing before we get going. Join that DigiDoggy Discord if you liked your time here. You can hop in and join us in talking about movies, music, media, and games. You can meet almost 150 awesome people. You can see my stream promos and schedules before they're posted anywhere else. You can promo your own stream. And, of course, you can get some free games here and there. Alright guys, we're going to drop in on the good Jared tonight. He's playing Super Mario RPG to help sort of celebrate the remake being announced. And it's the Mario RPG Randomizer. So... Stream message, as usual, is Digidoggy loves you, plus whatever Digidoggy emotes you like best. And until next time, this is Digidoggy, signing off. You guys have a great night, I'll see you tomorrow for some portable ops, and until then, stay safe and have a good time. Until next time, this is Digidoggy, signing off. Bye everybody, bye, have a good night.